BM Pulse is a family owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie, and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, BNM. You bought her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine Products. Because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell or fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy e Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy e Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. Well, Matt, it's here, the last day of the Kentucky event. We're going to find out who's going to be that Kentucky Lake champion. Uh, you know, and it's it's been a trying day, as you can see by the background and, and some of the contestants that are some of the tournament fishermen, that it's been pretty wet, and it's been real windy. But, you know, we had a good half a day, so what do you think? What do you think about the catch? Well, I tell you what, you're right. The, uh, the first part of the day was really pretty much ideal conditions, you know, the weatherman was wrong again. It's the only job you can have be wrong 50% of the time, the time and draw a paycheck every Friday. <laughs> the The weatherman was wrong. That's good for us. Good for us. But here in the last couple hours, I'm telling you right here, it's probably rained a half inch. We've had rain. We've almost destroyed computers. You name it, I'm telling you, it's, it's got down with it. Now, good news. Let's go to fishing. Yeah. I was uh, running a camera boat today, and first team I stopped on was Caps and Coleman. Okay. Tied for fourth. Pulled up on them. They'd been fishing for about an hour by the time I got to them. Had to do some stuff here this morning. It was a well-oiled machine. Always. Always, Always. a well-oiled machine. They were methodically moving from cover to cover, mat to mat, and I seen some pretty good fish caught. Oh, wow. I can't yeah. wait. Good fish caught males and ronnie actually right before i left he caught a female with a belly so oh wow they're going to be tough i told you told you coming into this they're going to be tough you know they're always they're always nails here we got thunder and I lightning here. Up yeah there. um they were they were they were on them they had lord i tell you he probably had a hundred pieces of cover down there to fish now the good thing or the, the odd thing is they made about a 70 mile difference in river change they went 70 miles went from north to south 70 miles tied for fourth place potentially left winning fish to go 70 miles down the river to give it a try in a different area that's what you call guts that's what you call fishing guts <laughs> yeah i call it something else but here be honest with you that takes that takes a lot of courage to do that we're you know we're not fishing for Two, three, four thousand dollars here. We're fishing for a brand new Ranger boat, an RT one eighty eight C Evan Rood package, twenty five thousand dollar boat. Plus. Exactly. So it takes a lot of courage to go seventy miles in a different direction and you know, I'm sure they made a calculated decision to do it. It'd be very tough for me to do. But anyway, they were catching them. Then I left, I went back up river, back up here toward Paris. Next boat I stopped on was Ed Folks and Roberts. Sure. Uh, they were in third place yesterday. 
I said Ed had a really good chance to win too because they were just there was just hundreds, a, a, a hundreds of an ounce exactly. of difference, splitting you know first, second, third, and fourth. So I pulled up on Ed, and he had caught some small fish early. As soon as we pulled up on him, put the camera in his boat, he started catching some pretty daggone good fish. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. They're calling Tim the Lucky Charm. <laughs> so he caught some really good fish. Left him in the boat for about an hour. Ed was, Ed was putting together, you know, an area that I think that he was going to hone in, settle down, and just stay in a real central location where those fish, had, you know, hadn't been touched in the last couple of days. He had the entire creek to himself yesterday. Wow. I was in there today. He had three or four boats. It is, it is a, a, a well-known creek. It is heavily fished. But in the same token, Ed had the entire thing to himself yesterday, which is very rare on Kentucky Lake. Um, talked to Ed. He was he was very confident. He really was confident. So we left him. Um, went to the another team that was tied for fourth yesterday, Hudgens and Christensen. They were tied for fourth. They were pulling crankbaits, and again separated by ounces. They were fishing the big sandy area, and uh, pulling crankbaits. They hadn't caught the fish that they had yesterday, and not the same quality. They were catching a lot of fish. Tim was in that boat for about 45 minutes, and they had caught two or three good upgraded cold, a couple, three small fish. Sure, sure. So, you know, long and short of it, the guys are catching a bunch of fish. This last couple hours, I don't know how it's affected them, affected the bite. Right. But we're going to go to a break real quick. It's getting ready to rain on us. We're going to go to a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with the results, or oh, not the results, but more strategy about the tournament. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie, and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field-tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. You bought her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine Products. Because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of a lake. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray haze. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell or fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. You know, Matt, before we went to break, we were talking about strategies. And strategy plays such a big part of tournament fishing. And you've got to have the right strategy. You've got to have make the right decisions. Uh, you know, how hard was that when you were fishing competitively? How hard was that for you to coordinate and, and, and do? Well, here at Kentucky Lake, it really presents its own dilemma. You know, you've got so many mats. There's so much cover in the water that... It's really, really, really hard to develop a game plan as to, hey, I'm going to fish these 10 stake beds or these 10 brush piles and put them in order. You know, the weather is really the, the dictator sure. Of, sure. of what we do when we do it. Um, Kentucky Lake is, I, I truly believe it's the mecca of crappie fishing. It's loaded with fish. 
and loaded with fish other than crappie. But when we tournament fished here, it was, I guess I, guess I, I labeled this as my nemesis here. Mm -hmm. You know, I could always get it done day one or one of the two days, but putting it together two days in a row here is a very tall task. Is it just because you knew so many places you could go and so you had so much confidence in those places where you could catch fish? I guess to a certain degree, yes, but also, you, you know, that's there's another factor. There's another side to that. Mm -hmm. The fact that you find a, a good area and there may be a hundred different pieces of cover to fish. You go in, you sample, you throw your hooks in it when you're pre-fishing, you know, one, two, three, four, five here, and you catch one or two good fish. It gives you a sense of hope that it's a pretty easy task to catch seven good tournament fish. Sure. And at the end of the day, that's not the not the case here at Kentucky Lake in certain spots. You know, and then on the flip side of that, you catch one or two decent fish and you could go in and there's been many times where, where Kent and I used to go into an area, we'd catch one or two decent fish, we'd go back at tournament day, and we would absolutely blister them right all day long. So you also have to game plan, you have to strategize. You know, if I'm gonna fish um, area A, am I going to beat it to death all day long? If it's a two day event, or am I gonna go in and catch five, six, seven tournament fish and leave it for day two? Sure. Now the drawback with that is, is many times that's what we've done. And day one is absolute bluebird sky, slick water, a little ripple. And on day two, you would think that you were off the coast of Florida. Sure. You know, sure. The, wi the wind would be blowing, you'd be bouncing up and down, and mm -hmm. it'd just make your, your gut sick, <laughs> knowing that you couldn't get to those fish and catch them because you couldn't present baits in a in a real, realistic fashion. Right. When you Especially when you're spider rigging. If you're spider rigging and that boat's going up and down, up and down, I mean, it's an unnatural presentation. The fish aren't going to bite what you got out there, and, you know, it can, it can ruin you. You know, one one of the tournaments this year, one of our our fishermen, he strategized a north wind and fished for a north wind on the last day of the tournament. He won the tournament, but uh, you know it's so technical. And one of the things about Kentucky Lake, there's it's so big, yeah. And you took yeah. the restrictions off of it, so they could fish just about anywhere they wanted to fish and spread the field out. Absolutely, you know, that's from Kentucky Dam to Pickwick Dam. Everybody was centrally located here in Paris. We did live well checks, you know, to keep everything up and up above board. Everything is, you know, um, everybody on a level playing field. We did it right here in Paris, right here at Paris Landing. But guys were running all the way to the dam and guys were running all the way past the I-40 bridge to the south. So that's a lot of water, man. I mean, you ain't kidding. It's that's a lot, a lot of water. Lot. I mean, I was talking to a guy, talking to Glenn Woodard, who's a local here. Glenn's got over eleven thousand crappie beds in this lake. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So when you talk about one individual having eleven thousand, I don't know if you could even you, you could even stab at a million crappie beds in in Kentucky Lake. Yeah, there's certain places you can't go fifty yards and not see another piece of cover that could be holding fish. That is the dilemma that you fight inside your head as a tournament angler when you come to Kentucky Lake. It's not who can catch or where you catch them, but you gotta be on the right fish to win to catch, and catch the right fish to win. Absolutely, and I'll tell you what, here's another factor is timing. You know, there's been some special trees or some special crappie beds that I've fished over the last three or four years, and to put, put it into perspective for those that are watching at home, there's been times that I've fished that same bed twice on Friday, twice on Saturday, and only caught one tournament fish out of it. Right. I come in on Sunday about two or three years ago and took a couple of sponsors out fishing. And on Sunday morning, it was the first bed that I went to. I said, let's just stop here and throw them out. We put eight poles out. And before I had eight poles out within five minutes, I had nine fish that were a pound and three quarter or better. <laughs> you say, where were y'all yesterday? Yeah, I mean, you, it's a timing issue. Are they feeding? Are they neutral? You know, they're finicky right now. I mean, I've made, made mention of that in, in, in the last couple days. The fact that the fish have spawned, they've come out of shallow water, they're going a little bit deeper. But they're not out. The biggest fish right now that are being caught are not being caught at Kentucky Lake summer patterns yet. They're not in that 20, 25 foot of water. Those fish are in that 
kind of that mid-range 12 to 16 foot of water and I promise you when people come up here and talk and we do some interviews here as we weigh in you're gonna hear a lot of people say 14 15 foot deep mm -hmm. that's really a magic number for anybody that's thinking about coming to Kentucky Lake to fish 14 15 foot is really kind of a magic number sure when sure. you're looking at water depth you know the the fish have have gone from pre-spawn to spawn now to post spawn now they're gonna they're trying to transition into their summertime pattern right. so you've got to be able to follow those fish and here again as i've said before electronics plays a big big part of this thing you know not only your lorance but also your trolling motor absolutely the whole combination it's just a you know when we're talking about crappie fishing kentucky lake it is absolutely technical from the trolling motor to the B&M rods to the electronics to the boat i mean it's hard to fish kentucky lake out of a small boat sure you know a large boat with a big solid platform like a ranger is absolutely hard to beat at kentucky lake sure it is and you know another factor is you've got to be able it's so big you've got to be able to move from point a to point b to point c in a, in a timely manner you can't just waste your time running so those bigger people say well this is not like any crappie boat i've ever seen but there's a purpose for all that absolutely um you know there's times where this the middle of this lake with a nor north or south wind you'll have four and five foot rolling waves one of the only lakes in the entire country that I've absolutely been terrified and happened about five years ago. I was sure. south south of the bridge here and I poked my nose out into the river and took three waves over the front of the boat and had water up to my knees. <laughs> I grabbed my life jacket. I grabbed my life jacket and I went to the river bank. I sat there on the river bank for 45 minutes to let the boat pump out. So yeah. a big boat is absolutely an absolute key component to what you can do here at Kentucky Lake sure. when it comes to putting seven biggest fish sure. in the live well. Sure. You know, well, another thing is we talked about was in these bigger boats, the live wells are so much better and can preserve those fish and keep those fish alive. And that's one of our goals here at American Crappie Trail is the conservation goal. Yeah, absolutely. You know, at the seminar on Thursday night, registration and seminar, you know, I talked, I didn't want to give a 30 minute seminar on how to keep your fish alive, but no. you know, the folks that are sitting at home, if you're putting them in an ice box, taking them to the house, that's one thing. But if you're out here, you're tournament fishing, we want the live wells full. We want the water cooled down. We want the water, some ice in the water. We want your pumps on recirculation. You don't want to be pumping fresh water, fresh water into the, in on the fish. fresh water in on the fish all day long. That's not good because that surface temperature is hot. And if you have oxygen, you want to run oxygen in your live wells. You know, there's a whole multitude of ways in order to preserve the catch, preserve the tournament fish, get them to the live well, get them in the weigh-in line, back to the release boat, which we went out last night and we released almost every single fish that was caught. Sure, sure. Because this, this water over here in the release boat's oxygenated, it's cooled down, and it's got Sure Life Crappie RX additive in it. Sure it is, and and you made a big investment in that release boat. I mean, you know, it's a pretty technical piece of equipment, and that's our goal is not to come in here and catch these fish and 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 damage the fishing for the local people. We're here to make it better for the local fishermen to give them more knowledge. Absolutely, you know, when I when I go to a lake and I talk to to anyone, I want to leave this lake as good if not better than when we got here. Yes, That's sir. my goal. Yes, sir. Let's go to break real quick. It's getting ready to downpour. It is yeah. in the process. We'll be right back. And the mosquitoes are so bad. <laughs> B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie, and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, BNM. You bought her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. 
even after all these years. Lucas Oil Marine Products, because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell or fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. Luckily, we've had the good morning, the nice morning where people could fish, catch fish. You know, I, I think we're going to be okay if we don't short out on our computers and our, our cameras. I tell you, it's, uh, there's not, I don't think there's been a stop we've been to this year where it hasn't absolutely just wreaked havoc on us. It, it has. And oh. it's tough on equipment. When you're running a full production and you've got TV cameras everywhere, you've got electronics, you've got it all out here. Mother Nature, I guess, is going to throw it at us. There's it's, absolutely no question. It's like fish, it kind of film a Green Bay Packers game in, in January with a snowstorm. At Lambeau, but, yeah. yeah. At Lambeau. All right, we're going to go right into the weigh-in. Uh, we appreciate y'all tuning in to the live show. I hope you've learned something. I hope you got some entertainment out of it, good ideas. Matt, let's get on with that weigh-in, brother. We'll be right back. We're going to start weighing them. Swat them skeeters. <laughs> ago and she's been there for you every day since it's because you've taken care of her pampered her only the best will do that's why you choose lucas oil marine products to protect her every day she starts gets you there and gets you back even after all these years lucas oil marine products because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake we put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell or fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie, and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field-tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. bought her many years ago 
and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine Products. Because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of a lake. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. This patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap. And welcome back to the 2017 American Crappie Trail here at Kentucky Lake, presented by Midstate Seed. Folks, it is storming out here. We're live here on the internet, and I got to tell you, it's storming. So bear with us today. We've got a little bit of lightning. We'll probably take a few breaks. Our hosting sponsors, the Henry County Tourism Authority and the Rushton Lincoln Parish CVB. The hosting hotel is Quality Inn, Buchanan Resort. A little bit of lightning, Manzard Island Resort, Marina, and the Cypress Bay Resort. The marina is right here at the beautiful Paris Bay Landing. It's a little wet, but a beautiful facility. Folks, I got to tell you something. It is really wet, but I'll tell you what, these anglers are excited because no matter rain, sleet, or snow, some of the toughest anglers in the world are out here right now to compete for an RT-188C Ranger boat and a 100% payback. I believe second place was around $6,000. Folks, there is not a payout anything better out there in crappie fishing right now. So we're going to get up here. We're going to weigh here in just a second. But before we do that, I want to make sure that we list our sponsors that we'd like to thank. We'd like to take an opportunity to thank Lucas Oil, Protect the Harvest, B&M Poles, Mid-State Seed, Mid-South Tackle, Martin Metal, General Tire, Ranger Boats, Evan Rude Outboards, Valley Fashions, Rockport Rattlers, Super Clean, Gator Guards, Roadrunner Lures, Power Pole, The Original Rod Socks, Bug Band, I kept the mosquitoes off me last night, American Angler, Knives, a lot of water. Driftmaster, Crappie Now Magazine, Bobby Garland Crappie Baits, and Grizzly Jig Company. We also like to thank our local sponsors, the Henry County Tourism Authority, Buchanan Resort, Malone's Blue Gray Marine, Cypress Bay Resort, Manzard Island, Quality Inn, Blues Tavern, the Slide and Rod Tavern, ACS Marine, and Aces Pizza. Folks, these anglers are out competing for a points championship. It's going to be held at the national championship at Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. The anglers are lining up. I think the Rileys are ready. Let's bring up one and weigh. Let's see what boat number 47, Jimmy Riley Jr. and David Butler have for us today. They had 592 yesterday. They're only seven pounds behind the leader. This could be your opportunity to take the lead today. What do you think? Nah, he says. Short-lived lead. 569, a hair short. We appreciate you fishing out here in the weather. You guys, we talked earlier before we came alive on the internet. You guys are locals. Said it was a bit tough out there, right? Been the toughest week I've ever fished. Now, let's talk about it. I mean, it's really raining out here now, but I know you guys got off the water in time. Did you guys focus? At, at, this lake has got a lot of current flow. The, the tide goes up and tide. It's not tide, but the lake levels go up and down quite a bit. Is it more important for a guy at Kentucky Lake to fish on structure, brush, or is it better for them to follow the shad? I mean, what's, what's, the, what's the best? If somebody wants to come to Kentucky Lake to fish, what's the route there? I think it's just according to the time of year. Uh, there's been times when yesterday we single polling brush piles. Been times I could have won this tournament doing it. Yesterday wasn't one of those days. Uh, some other time, two weeks from now, I could probably be in the top 10 single polling brush piles. Just that time of year, post-spawn fish. Post-spawn fish gets kind of tough. Do you think the... Uh, because you've been on this lake and see what's going on, uh, the guys are going to excel that, that figured something out. You think it's going to be on crankbaits? You think it's going to be on spider rig? Uh, I'm going to say spider rigging. Spider rigging? We're going to find out. Guys, 
Appreciate you fishing with us. Appreciate it a bunch. Thanks a bunch now. Appreciate it. Their two day totals, 1161. Matter of fact, I think it's going to be Captain Coleman. <laughs> that was, I'm going to go ahead and say it, all right? His, his guess, he's got his, he's got his bet on Captain Coleman. See, they're going to pull it out. And we heard some, they caught some fish early today, and we're going to find out just if they had them good enough. Are you guys ready? He says no. They got to make it from one. You guys can't see her in the side, but we've got guys that are on the uh, underneath the, the tent with the, the bump tanks where the fish are, and they're going to have to make a little journey across the rain. We've got to dodge it all out. So but I'm going to make them come up anyway. So Barb Reedy, Jim Reedy, get on up here. Boat number 46. And she's running, but don't slip, all right? <laughs> now, you had 504 yesterday. A little better day for you today. I wish 704 put your two day total right around what 1208. That's a good one for the day. That's pretty good. We's uh, tell you what, we was watching this weather all day. We was fortunate not to have any rain where we were at. And with just about the last hour, I said, I know it's early, but I looked over and this was all coming. I said, let's go. Yep. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, I've, took off. I've been on this lake too where you can just see it moving right on down. And the, the bad part is, is when you know you got to go into it. But we know the smart guys because. Yeah, we're you're both dry. We're still dry, so, but uh, we've how, enjoyed it and had a great time. How, it's, been, it's been a great tournament. You, I'm going to test you here, okay? Just okay. real quick. And either, either one of you can answer, Barb or Jim, either one. But for a guy that's watching on the internet right now that's never fished a crappie tournament and you want to get them started, what's the first thing you tell them to do? Pay your entry fee. Because <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, you, you might as well do it. I mean, you, you stand back there and you looked at it. We looked at it for years. The first way we we got started 25 years ago, uh, we was in a motel. There was a crappie thon tournament going on. Never heard of in our life. Was up here in the north end of uh, Kentucky Lake, and uh, some guy come out and we was talking to him and found out that he was the director of it. Didn't know him, and uh, he gave us a spool of, of line. And he said, "Hey, man, that's great. Nobody ever gave us nothing, you know." So, and see, we said, and, and I've been fishing for for years and years, and so did her. And I told her, I says, uh, we went to the way in and saw how great it was and a lot of fun. I said, we could do that. So 25 years later, here we are out in the rain. Great. <laughs> so, you know, but it's great. You just got to get off and go do it. Yep. And we, you know, it's, it's great. And, and don't worry about not catching fish, not winning, because I guarantee you, you don't win. We, you know, hardly ever win. But uh, we try. If you don't have a good time, it's not worth doing. Oh, well, I've seen you guys come yeah, off the 38-degree so. weather at Grenada and warm weather here. But one thing I can say for sure, it's always a pleasure to see you guys up on the stage. Jim, Barb, thanks for fishing American Crappie Trail with us. We appreciate it. Two-day total, 12.08. Okay. Appreciate it a bunch. Thank you now. Oh, here, I'll give you this one, Jim. All right. We're going to make a little bit of – we're going to make a studio adjustment here real quick. You going to go back? All right. You're, there we go. All right. A little adjustment. Got my hero Sam Heaton here doing a little water removal. <laughs> here, grab this up. Hey, I'm gonna man, wipe while we talk. What do you think about all this water? Well, you know, you know, we're weighing underwater. It it's not under it yet, but I'll tell you what, it's a flowing, isn't it? Yeah, it's a flowing. <laughs> you know, we have had bad luck all year with the with the rain. Oh, we have. The fishing's been great. The trade me. I don't like that one. That one not, doesn't work good. It was no. quiet. That was better. I said we've had bad luck all year. It's been wet at every tournament. Uh, okay. We're pretty close to getting another team up here. No, so. we're actually going to bring up. We're going to talk a little bass fishing here for a oh, minute. Oh, that hey, young man. Yeah, Colton Jennings, you over yeah. there? Get on up here. Let's talk Colton for a James, minute. Colton Jennings, he's a hero. I'm stealing the mic. You get to get yeah, off stage. Yeah. I'll bring you back, Sam. Colton Jennings, correct? Yes. Now let's. I'm going to give you this mic, and I want you to push it really close so we can talk. All right. All right. Got to get works. up really close. All right. We can get it close. We'll make that happen. Yeah. All right. So. We're in the middle of a crappie tournament, but we're going to talk a little bass fishing. We, yeah. Go ahead. Go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. We we um we understand that you had a little bit of an accomplishment this year. Uh yeah, I won my high school world championship just right down the road at Pickwick. Uh, had a had a great tournament. Um, a great experience, man. Uh, love you know y'all are one of the best bass fishermen bass fishers in the world. I'm sure some of these guys bass fish too. Uh, you know I know I crappie fish some too for fun. Uh, we, which actually, you know, I've got some guys fishing out here in this crappie tournament. That's kind of the reason that, you know, we, we kind of made an appearance and kind of want to show up and see how everything was going. Um, you know, I, I appreciate what you guys do. I really like what y'all have got going here. Uh, it's a lot more, to me, it's a lot more like a bass tournament. You know, uh, one of my guys, Tony Shepard, which I work with every day in the office, he, uh, 
he's one of our big crappie salesmen and designs all our crappie stuff. You know, me and him talk a lot about the differences and all that stuff. And y'all really got a lot more organized program going here than you know, than, you know what that I've seen in the other. And, and you know, I, it was a huge step forward in what y'all are doing. And, and you know, I was. I'm glad to see him a part of it. But well, one of our sister, uh, brother, sister companies is the Wild West Bass Trail, and we have yeah. a bass circuit on the West Coast. So they're taking that principle of weighing in, the, yeah. the weighing process, doing the two bag system, yeah. and trying to bring this level of, of the sport up to what it is in bass yeah. fishing. But I'm dying to know, in case you guys didn't hear, the world high school bass champion, correct? Yes, sir. How many boats? Uh, 180 somewhere in 180 there. 180 boats. I'm sure you had a qualification process to get through that. Uh, yeah, you know, we had, it's it's not super hard to get in, but you have to fish some tournaments and stuff like that. Um, it, it's very open to, you know, for, for newcomers and stuff like that, which I've got a sixth and a first in that tournament two years in a row on the same lake. All right, now, what was the weight? And on a five fish limit, correct? Yeah. What was your weight? Uh, 2603 on the final day. 2603. Well. Yep. Now I know a little about Pickwick. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah. All right. Did you go down to the Coburn Steam Plant and fish the hot water? Uh, no. I, I actually it was during during the summertime. But that is it. That it, dude during the during the when during the cooler months. That's definitely a great place to catch uh, a big bag. Just checking. Did you yeah. fish the horseshoe up in the top for smallmouth? I uh, I actually practiced there. So, did you? But uh, I actually ended up this year. When I won, I was up around the dam fishing offshore on the ledges, and then uh, the year before, I actually fished down in the grass right around the steam plant area. Ended up getting six that year, so you know, once again, 180 boats. Spinner bait, jig. I, I threw, I threw, a, uh, actually, I threw my 20 foot diving crankbait and a jig and a worm just a little bit, but I was catching a limit super quick in the morning, catching my five that was, you know, 20 to 23 pounds. And then I'd make one or two critical calls with a seven, six or seven pounder during the day. Now we're going to wrap this together into crappie fishing. You ready? Yeah. Staying on the bluff edges in the summer months, you're pulling a 20 foot crankbait down there. You're finding those suspended bass that are probably foraging on shad. Yep. Correct? Yep. On Kentucky Lake. Yep. Same principle applies on crappie, right? Oh yeah, no, definitely. Like whenever I'm looking for bass out here on the ledges, these guys have got stuff sank and you'll go across the ledge and then there'll be a, there'll be a line of bass and then there'll be a brush pile. And yep. it right out there on the lip, and then always there's big crappie in those brush piles. These guys, mm -hmm. they know all about it. It's starting to get there. Everything's post spawn. Uh, you know, we're y'all. You know, y'all are gonna hit it where it ought to be pretty fun to fish. Yep. Now for guys that don't fish, and I know there's some probably up and coming anglers in high school that were kind of wanting to say, "How'd you do it, Clayton?" You know. But one of the things let's talk about real quick is let's focus on shad on Kentucky Lake. Cause I've been having a lot of conversations. Sam Heaton and I talked about. It. I've been talking to some anglers out there. There's about three things that fish eat, right? Yeah. Probably shad, maybe bluegill, crawdads. Are we on it pretty much? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. But definitely. crappie only focus on probably the shad, yeah. right? Yeah. So when you're out there fishing those ledges, it's more important probably to focus on the brush, but also where the shad are. Yes. Is that is that a yeah, good assessment for, sure. for Kentucky Lake? Yeah, looking for the bait is definitely a critical key, especially with the crappie fishing, finding the right size bait. Uh, you know, these guys have big, huge electronics, just like, you know, we're all running... All, you know, we're all running electronics. The guys that fish out in the middle of the lake, um, you know, of course, there's going to be guys that they've got their old brush piles. But, you know, the guys that are going to go out there and spend their time scanning and finding those fish to, you know, to either pull crankbaits, long line, or spider troll, you know, spider rig over, you know, suspended fish, they're not really keying on the brush as much, are really going to have to find the small stuff that the crappie can eat. In the bass mm -hmm. situation, a lot of the times the smaller bass will hang out around those those school of bait that you would look for for the crappie but i'm hunting you know eight nine ten twelve inch gizzard shad which are huge you know a huge source of food for our bass on this lake i always call it matching the hatch fly fishermen use it a lot of terms but you know whatever they're focusing on you want to scale to that size if the crappie are biting on a two inch shad yep. you probably be already focusing on two inch bait <laughs> that's right and same thing with the large mouth you want to go to a bigger swim bait or a big vertical jigging spoon yep. something that matches the fish that they're feeding at that time exactly you're definitely right i mean you know these guys i'm sure they've got it figured out but somebody's going to figure it out a little better by the end of the day today than everybody else all right gotta ask how old are you uh 18 18 it is an absolute pleasure to meet you, Clayton. Congratulations nice on your accomplishments. Great information for those guys. Folks, get involved in fishing. You know, if you're out there in high school and you want to get involved in it, if you're, if you're 10 years old on the Internet, if you're 40 years old on the Internet, if Clayton can do it, I shouldn't say if Clayton can do it, anybody can do it, but Clayton's showing, <laughs> man. Spend some time on the water, enjoy these lakes, and you'll find success. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's all kinds of sources for information now. You know, everybody's doing the YouTube, everybody's doing the Facebook, the social media, everything. And uh, it's a great way for a young kid to go out there and learn. We, you know, 
everybody tells me, oh, I wish, you know, they had the stuff that we had, you know, it's easier for us to learn. I mean, you know, and all these kids are so tech savvy. I'm not really, but, you know, I'm working on it. And uh, if it don't say Lawrence or Hummingbird is some kind of technology, I'm about out. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you use those things as a, as a learning tool. Very good. And I apologize. I said Clayton, but it's you're, Colton. You're Colton good. Jennings. You're good. World champion bass angler, folks. Appreciate you fishing. Thank staying you with I say fishing so much. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. You Congratulations. Thank you. How about that, guys? That's a pretty good story. Now we're going to get back to crappie fishing. Tim, the cameraman's in. He's wet. You look like a wet duck, buddy. <laughs> All right, coming up next, let's talk to boat number 34, Bruce McKaig and Tim Crawford. Had a chance to visit with them earlier. A couple spider riggers. They caught them on live bait around 20 feet, I think that's right. And did a lot better today. You did, didn't you? Did. He did. Very much so. 782, that's going to put you right around 1166 for a two-day total. Guys, it was a pleasure visiting with you earlier. Thanks for fishing with the American Crappie Trail. You guys take care. Thank you. All right, folks, stick around because when we wrap it down, the top 10 anglers are going to weigh in at the close this weigh-in. We're going to find out who the winner is. And then we're going to pay out everybody else that's qualified in. And we're going to pay out a little contingency money, too. Over $50,000 today's event on 100% payout and that RT-188C Ranger is going to be up for grabs here real soon. So let's move on to boat number 41, team of Kevin Murphy and Danny Darnell. Had 671 yesterday. You guys only need six and a quarter to get the lead today. Think you got her? Well, might. He says they might. Well, a little bit. Heck yeah, you do. Look at this day. 774. That's going to make you the current leaders right now. Your two-day total at 1445. Let's talk about it for a minute. Well, we had uh, another day basically like yesterday. It was rough on us. Uh, we broke down yesterday, so we got to fish a little more today, but it's still our fish wasn't there where we've been catching them, but we stuck with it. Right, right on. Well, your current leaders, we'll see if it holds on. 1445. Guys, appreciate you fishing with us. Thank you. Watch that rain and lightning, okay? <laughs> Here you go. And I got a weighing ticket for you, too. Thanks, guys. All right, coming up next, we have the team of Robert and Gina McCord, boat number 35, got a seven fish limit. They had 842 yesterday, had a good string. Looks like got a good string again today. She's excited, aren't you? Yes. This is going to move you way up, isn't it, Gina? I hope so. Yes, ma'am, it did. 1084, that's Woo. an 18, oh, that's almost a, I'm going to tell you, 1926. Stand in first place right now. How about that? You going to wait? We should weigh it anyway, shouldn't we? All right, how'd we do it, Gina? Um, he's the fisherman. I'm just kind of the sub. That's a sub. <laughs> pulling crankbaits. Pull, okay, she said pulling crankbaits, so there we go. I'd like to thank the, oh, hang on. Here we go. I'd like to thank the American Crappie Trail for helping out our son, Dwayne McCord. Uh, they had a house fire about three and a half weeks ago, and Matt pitched in, and all the associates here, uh, all the fishermen. fishermen, and they uh, pitched in Friday night. It was wonderful. It was well, $1,850 donate mm -hmm. to help their family. Thank y'all. Yep, and I'll tell you what, it makes me proud to see the community of fishermen come together. Let's get this big old fish here. Look at that guy. I believe yesterday, what was it, 223 was a big fish. You were right close, 204. Great fish, two pound Kentucky Lake crappie. Here you go. Jeannie, you get to hold that one up there. She caught it. She caught it. Oh, you said you were the sub. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> said they pull cranks all day. I'm sorry. Jinko crankbaits. We fish for Matt Jen Jenkins and the Jinko team, and we've done real good with our stuff. Very good. Well, 19, 1926, you guys are the current leaders. I'm going to get you a weigh-in ticket. We'll see how long that holds up. I hope it holds up a long way. Guys, appreciate you fishing with us. Thanks so much. And she said she had a good time, and that's a great thing to hear. Coming up next, boat number. Hey, the rain's lighting up a little bit. That's a good thing. I'm, i got to say it, Ron. i got to say it. Coming up next, let's see boat number 19, Brad Essery and Mike Johnson. Had 689 yesterday. Looks like a healthy bag today. At least you got a smile on your face, right? Oh, a wet one. A wet smile. A wet smile. At least we got seven today. They did seven. get seven today. 808, yes, going to put you about 15 pounds. 1497 for your two-day total. Good deal. Good, Good deal. Good deal. You guys happy with that? Yep. Yes, Enjoy the trail. We appreciate you guys fishing the American Crabby Trail. Thanks so much. Thank appreciate you. it. You bet. There's your bag. Well, I'll tell you what, you know those guys had a good time whenever it rained on them like a bear, and then the next thing they'll come in with a big old smile on their face, so that's a good thing to see. Coming up next, we have boat number 59, Glidden Woodward and Richard Williams had 764 yesterday. 
Looks like I got another seven fish to the scale today. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? You're staying dry, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody's dry. <laughs> yeah, 769 is going to put you in your two-day total right around 1533. Yeah. Pretty good two-day total. No, not real good, but we'll take it. Hey, you know, we heard it was tough out there. It so was. were you guys spider rigging or were you pulling crankbaits? Spider rigging. Spider rigging. Double rig, live minnows? No, single li single bait, uh, spider rigging. Okay. Steak beds. All right, on, on the beds. On the beds. All right, I'm trying to give some people some information out there so when they come down to Kentucky sure. Lake, they know how to catch them like Absolutely. you did. Guys, Absolutely. we appreciate you fishing American Crappie Trail. Thank you, buddy. You guys take care now. Thank you. All right, coming up next, they had 838 yesterday. Boat number 53, TJ Todd and Brian Hatch. Another seven fish limit today. Is it better today? No, it's a little worse. A little worse? You're only 1088 from the lead. Just a touch short, 745. Uh, it was a pretty tough day. We had a malfunction with our live well, and all those fish we caught right there, we probably caught in the last 45 minutes. No, oh, really? Yeah, well, that's, sure. that's, that's fishing hard now. Yeah, we had to get them pretty quick. Power fishing. <laughs> that's right. All right, guys. Your two-day total looks like is uh, 1583, Thank and we sure appreciate you fishing with us. Thank you. And that's what tournament fishing's about. There's always breaking's part of the sport. you got to really make it work when you need to. So they figured it out and still fished it out. Coming up next, boat number 37, the team of Brad Meyer and David Fouts had 643 yesterday. And you got wet today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he says. Another seven fish limit. Let's yeah, put a little bit better, I think. It is a little bit. Boy, you almost caught twins. 635. Got your two day total right there at 1278. I appreciate you fishing with us. It was wet, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not you, until this afternoon, but. He, it was still fun. It was still fun fishing. That's great. We appreciate Fish American Crop Trail. All right, guys. All right, appreciate it. Thank you now. All right, folks, stick around because that top 10 is coming right up. And we're going to have a little hot seat where we're going to put them over here on the side. We're going to find out who's going to bump who off. Right now, our current leader at 1926, team of McCord and McCord. Great story that they had. Well, there's a little mosquito. Coming up next, let's take a look at boat number 22, Sean Gore and Joy Peck. Had 581 yesterday. Did a little better today. Seven fish limit, right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Ranger boat? Absolutely. How was it out there in the wind? It was pretty tough today. Was it tough? Yeah. 714 today. A lot better than yesterday. Looks like you're going to have about 1295 for two-day yep. total. Yep. What did you guys focus on on fishing today? Uh, we were spider rigging on you know man-made structure and... I don't know, somewhere around 14 foot of water. Was it your own man-made structure? Absolutely. All right, we got to talk about it. PVC, wood? Wood. Wood? Stick beds? No. Nope. No, brush, you, big brush piles. You made your own or cut them down? Cut them down. All right. At home. <laughs> All right, got to have a little talk about this, okay? Because we, we're educating fishermen today. Absolutely. Hardwood or cedar? Hardwood. Hardwood. And the reason why you should use hardwood over cedar when you're crappie fishing is because of what? Lasts longer. It lasts longer. I always find they don't snag as bad either. Yeah, that's true. And you can put a little bit of smaller pile in, holds a more dominant fish. But, yep. It, now, you ever heard the story about those guys who burn cedar trees before they put them in? No. <laughs> they try to burn them off to make it more detailed sticks and all that stuff? No? No. no. Don't believe in that? Never, never done that. That's because you use hardwood. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Two-day total, twelve ninety-five. Guys, we appreciate you fishing American Crappie Trail with us. I didn't even give you a chance to talk. You want anything to say? No. no he says, let me off. No. All right. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate it. All right, I'm going to do a little check here. A lot of water up here. Coming up next, we've got the team of Daniel Harper and Clayton Grapperhouse. Boat number 27 had 589 yesterday. Did a little better today? Not, not much. He said not much. Close to the same. Close to the same. Boy, you're not kidding either. Look at that. 579, one-tenth off what you did yesterday. <laughs> Tell me how your consistent pattern held for you. Just covering as much water as we could, but it didn't pay off. <laughs> All right, how many tournaments you guys fished? Um, uh, this is his first one. I probably fished in nine or ten. Nine or ten. Yes, Your sir. first one. Yes, sir. You and I are going to talk here in just a second. We had, a, what? We, had a, we had a great time fishing this trail. I enjoyed it. We sure appreciate hearing that. Um, spider rigging, pulling yeah. crankbaits. Spider rigging. Spider rigging. Yes, All right, so I fished one myself. What's it feel like sitting in that seat and trying to keep your eye focused on eight rods? At, at a time uh it ain't, ain't too bad i've been fishing with them a few times but not this is my first tournament and it was it was quite a eye-opening experience getting to fish against everybody else so any uh any advice you want to give somebody want to get into fishing uh or fishing fishing crappie tournaments find a friend that's got a boat <laughs> that's <laughs> so I, I obviously you have the boat right yes <laughs> all right um lost my train of thought there guys jeez I did that all double time. double double spider rig with live minnows right did you ever think at one time where you said, 
you know what, this is my first tournament, but I'm going to tell him that maybe he'd try pulling a crankbait. Did you ever think about saying that? Uh, no, sir. He was the boss, and I was just following the lead. Follow along. When he told you to get the net, did you, like, hustle? Oh, yeah. Did you have to bait his own minnows? Uh, no. No, I nope. didn't. You know, sometimes, you know, you fish with the guy, he's going to say, you know, you bait my rigs, I want to keep an eye on the rack, and you're running back and forth. Next thing you know, you've turned into the bait man. <laughs> ever happened? Nah, nah, no, no. Not, not, it may be the other way around a little bit. All right, you going to fish another one with us? Yes, sir. All right. Anything else you'd like to thank no, or sir. anybody? No, thank y'all very much. Are you married? No, sir. Got a girlfriend? Yes. Thank her for letting you come and fish today. <laughs> you got to do it. She's probably watching you online. She probably is. And if you show it later, oh, here's your chance. You got to do it. <laughs> You're not going to do it? Thank you very much. Th no, thank her. Thank you very much. What's her name? Her name's Chloe. Chloe, he's really grateful that you let him <laughs> fish this weekend. He's going to be home real soon. Appreciate it a bunch, guys. You bet. Thanks for fishing American Crappie Trail. Sam, get up here. Let's talk for a minute. I have the world-recognized crappie fisherman who is also the host of the American Crappie Trail Show and one heck of a nice guy, Sam. Well, what do you I'm, think about that first wave of weigh-ins? <laughs> you know, uh, there was some good fish caught. I like that big fish, that, you know, that they weighed in. It was 2.10. 204, I think. 204, 204. yep. McCord, you know, that McCord. was a good fish. It was, you know, there's a lot of fish being weighed in. There's a lot of people trying to get out of the water, and we've got some local people out there that are trying to get out also and everybody's being real courteous but you know it's tough uh if you didn't catch your fish early i'm sure that you had a hard time catching them after the storm hit and uh i'm just thankful you know that uh we've got a little bit of break here to weigh in yeah i know the rain let up a little bit you know we were off camera and we were sitting up here doing what we were doing right now and we were kind sure. of spinning around talking a little bit and I've talked to these anglers a little bit about the same thing that you and I talked about earlier was, sure. should you focus on brush or should you focus on shad? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of both out here. You right. know, I think the two together is really working out. But you heard about what the camera guys have been out there seeing these top 10 guys, and we kind of get an idea. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is going to be the standout on this thing? Well, I think it'll be, I think, I, you know, I picked, uh, you know, I, I picked Blakely and Van Cleve this morning as my dark horse. But with the conditions like they are now, and knowing how they fish, because they're both real good friends of mine, and I know how they fish, and I know their strategy plan is Caps and Coleman. Those guys are masters, uh, masters at looking, watching that depth finder. Ronnie, who actually runs the depth finder, he runs the depth finder with his hand so that he can be so precise with that boat position. And when it's like this, you've got to keep that bait in the strike zone for the maximum amount of time. If you don't, then, you know, that fish loses interest quick. So I know Ronnie and I know Steve and I know how they fish and they've fished together for 20 years and I know how they work. So I'm going to say that they, but, you know, we were talking about Chad and and, and structure. And structure. Mm -hmm. You know, I like the wood structure. The reason being, it, first of all, it lasts longer. It is a natural attractant to the, what do you call, algae or slime in mm -hmm. the water. And when that gets on there, the bait fish go in there and feed on that. And then once they feed on that, then, you know, they'll hang around. But now, as the fish start, predator, as, as the predator fish start feeding on them, They'll move out, but then they'll also move back in. Let's let's go way back on the whole science factor here, because even before the bait fish, we're talking phytoplankton. Exactly. You know, freshwater plankton, and they do exist. It's not a made-up term or anything. No. Microscopic no. little microbioorganisms mm -hmm. will go to algae to feed, and when they're pecking around on that, then the bait fish are coming and feed on them, it, and that exactly. cycle of the feeding pattern begins. And also, what feeds on that is the insect larva, yep. and, and the insect larva will feed on that plankton, and then then uh, until a crappie gets a year old, the majority of his diet is made up of insect larvae. Mm -hmm. And so that when those insect larvae and, and, and small minnows are feeding on that plankton, then those fish will move in there and, and feed on, the bigger fish will move in there and feed on those fish. So today's word, American Crappie Trail, tune in to the internet, is entomology. 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 I, don't I really don't know how to say the that. The study <laughs> of insects. <laughs> now, Sam, here's what we do. We've got a couple guys are going away. I want you to stick around here just a little bit because I want to talk about one of the anglers again when we get back up here yeah, in just a second. This is a strong team right here, too. They are. Let's bring them up. Boat number 28, Wade Hendren. I want a microphone back, too, because we're going to be talking to them also. Thanks, sir. 
Wade Hendren and Roy Logan had 804 yesterday. Guys, get on up here. Let's see what we got today. They do have another seven fish limit. You had duck, you know, you had duck under that canopy, didn't you? How was it for you today? A little bit better? A lot better. It a was better. a lot better. Check that out. 967. That's going to put your two-day total right up there around 1771. Great two-day total for you guys. Yeah. Let's talk just real quick. How'd you do it? We fished structure. We, we fished uh, minnow rigs, fished B&M 14-foot poles, and we fished uh, double hook minnow rig and just fished uh, either man-made structure or natural structure. Okay, we, uh, we've been talking about it a lot the last couple of days, and I, I've just been more curious for myself than I think anybody else. Do you focus on shad along with that structure? Not really. No, Not really. You stay no, on the, we just the, the fish these, are staying congregated into that brush. And these fish here are, at Kentucky Lakes, seem like they are around structure a lot more than a lot of other lakes so we, that's we just um, concentrate on structure do you think the some of that contribution might be the current flow also are you fishing I, back in I, coves or are you fishing it, main no, lake stuff we didn't fish main lake stuff okay no, no okay. we fish back in coves all right the We're just current wasn't wasn't a factor today yesterday we we had a little different um um deal and, and we current messed us up and we went somewhere else today of course the weight paid it paid off Yep, and so. we've, we've heard a lot that the anglers are saying that, you know, at the beginning of the week, because we do have an off-limits period, and yeah. when they come in, lakes way up, they start dropping the water way down. Yeah. It really posed a challenge for a lot of the anglers. It does, it does. So, all right, well, B&M sponsor, guys, Roy, yeah. I didn't get you to let you talk any. You want to? No, no. Anybody you guys like he, to thank real he quick? He talks enough during the day. I'd like to thank uh, B&M poles. Uh, we use tight like rod holders. Humming, we use Hummingbird Electronics, which is the key dog our success for probably 10 years very all the way around very good so. guys thanks fish american crappie trail thank you. great finish Appreciate thank you two day total 1771 we're going to see them again i think they're going to be a threat all right coming up next boat number 17 team of terry elliott and mark harrison had 701 yesterday got another seven fish limit coming up today looks like good limit, good limit. A little bit better. you know it's when yeah. you work hard for them you know god yeah. dear 794 it's going to put you i think i almost do that math in my head that's uh 1495 right that's right that's a good two-day total how'd you guys catch them this weekend it was all on man-made structure that we put in the lake um probably fishing 75 beds a day or so catching a lot of fish but just just not the ones we needed uh lost weren't too good fish but everybody does that uh had a real fun boat ride in for about 20 minutes yeah we saw it coming <laughs> in too boy we batted down the hatches blew everything soaked we had dried off and it rained on us again it, it was uh, it was overall i mean it was a good turn overall you know had little problems everybody had problems well thank uh american crappie for the way they're taking care of these fish since it's my home lake appreciate that uh thank my sponsors and natalie rods and lake fork tackle loop very good lures. guys appreciate the fishing american crappie trail thank thanks you. so much all right i think we've got one more coming up here oh we got a wild man I really enjoyed him every morning. He plays rock and roll music when he gets out here at 4 in the morning and checks his boat in. Boat number 10, Chris Bouchard and Jay Barres. Come on up here, Chris. You smile more today. Had seven fish yesterday for 686. Got another seven today. Looks like a better seven, don't it? A little bit better, I hope. Anyway. You got her? You got to push it up real close. I know you talk loud, but you got to get tired. up in there. I'm tired. I'm tired. Yep. Look at this, though. 942. That's a 1628 two-day total. Yep, that's one fish. Let's chat just for a minute because you had a game plan going this morning. Yeah. And it looked like you had maybe some hard baits tied up on some fishing line. Every one of them. Air, I, I saw them. Yep. You are we a was, crankbait uh, pooling fool. We was pulling uh, Jinko crappie uh, cranks and uh, Bandit 300 series. We was in about 20 foot of water and we was pulling them anywhere from 12 to 21 foot down using the uh, offshore tadpole mm -hmm. number ones but uh now you're gonna stop right now because remember the first thing i told you was you gotta put that mic up and you I said you're tired it. you gotta talk loud now. i know it and i generally and you, talk louder than anybody my I partner's know. sick of me i imagine you know what you were all pumped up this morning i think you overdid it this morning oh lord no <laughs> no we overdid it the last that last flood that come through we actually caught three of our way fish big fish in it in the flood but it was fun. We caught probably 80 or 90 fish all day on crankbait, so I couldn't ask for anything Did you say 80 better. or 90? Yes. That's a lot of fish yes. taking them on and off. Yes, it all is. Right. Now, i got to ask you guys, because I've been throwing out these really crazy questions. Get it. There's a term I use called pancaking a fish. You ever heard that? Holding him down? Nope. Whenever I'm trolling off the back of the boat to crank boat, uh -huh. crankbait, and I catch a fish, he gets up on his side, and if you reel real fast, you just skip across the water like a pancake. That's I call that pancaking. That's what we try to do What, to the what do you fish. call it? Well, I just skim him across top Skimming. of the water. Yep. All right, so here's, yep. if you guys are trolling, and any kind of recreational angler, let's, let's take tournament fishing clear out of the side. Let's yep. say 
Uncle Bob and Mary are going to go out there and going to pull crankbaits behind their bass boat. And they can do that. Yep. And they're going around the point and they whack one and they see it's a crappie. Yep. They generally come right up first, right? Yep. When they come up, advice from a pro, uh -huh. skim him across the water just like this and get him reeled in. Now, don't skim him to where he's coming all the way out and you burping him across the water. But oh. just pull his head out of the water and try and keep the rest of his body in there. Don't pull too, don't reel it too fast. But just reel it at a steady, slow pace and keep his head above the water. Nine times out of ten, you won't lose him. And when he gets close enough to get that net underneath him, get net. the net underneath yep. with the head up. It's a nice, easy process, yep. right? Yep. One motion. Just you know, in with it. By the time we get to the national championship, we're going to teach everybody how to pull crankbaits. Oh, I hope not. Let's, no. Let's get through this now, national we didn't, championship. We didn't talk about how far, how deep, how fast. Good call. What pound test, what length rod. We didn't get Good any call. of that science of it. But there is. these guys are scientists when it comes to crankbaiting. And I'm excited to see what you have in store for us at Sardis Lake because that's, I can't wait. that's one of your lakes, correct? Uh, yes, yeah, Sardis is going to be. And you love pulling crankbaits, so there's no doubt about it. Don't even have to share it. Chris Bruchart is going to go out there, and Jay's going to go with him. Yes. And you guys are going to pull crankbaits at Sardis Lake. Not even taking our spider rigging poles. There you go. Not so even taking them. We're going to crank we're, baits and that's it. I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen there. Dude, I'm pumped about it. He's that pumped one. about it already. First thing this morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, he's checking his live wells. He's like, I'm ready for Sardis, man. I'm going to pull some crankbaits and have me a good old time. Had Rhiannon and Stevie Nicks kicking. Oh, it was a beautiful morning, beautiful day. Got a little wet, but hey, we're catching fish in the middle of the rain, so I can't complain. All right, listen, I'm going to pass the mic right over to you right now. Who do you want to thank before I kick you off? Uh, offshore tackle, Jinko fishing, power pole. Uh, definitely got to have power pole if it's shallow. But anyway, um, K2 coolers for sure. And uh, Matt for putting on this another great tournament up here at Kentucky Lake. A little wet, but... The fish bit, caught a bunch of fish. We probably caught 70, 80 fish today on crankbaits, and that's a lot crankbait fishing. <laughs> but, uh, no, it was a great turnout, and we sure did enjoy it. Jay, anything you want to say? I just, love me. I just enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, American Crappie Trail, anybody that wants to crappie fish needs to fish the American Crappie Trail. It's the best by far. Good words. Guys, appreciate it a bunch. It was nice to visit with you, Jay. Chris, yeah. pleasure as always. We're going to see you at Sardis Lake. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it a bunch. All right, folks, we're getting closer to that top 10. The weather's got them slowed down just a little bit, but right now we're getting ready to go to boat number 45, Brian Ram and Jeff Heathcott. They're doing a little interview there on side. He's going to come on over. Had 7.15 yesterday. Got another seven fish limit today. You don't look as wet as some of the other guys. You must have dodged some of that weather. Some of it. Some of it. Not much, though. All right, got a good seven today? No. No. Worse than yesterday. 624, that's okay. It's a 13, what, that 1339, the total? I did my math in my head. How about that? That's great. 1339, how'd you guys catch them this weekend? Slow trolling. Slow trolling? Yeah. Is that crankbaits yeah. or live bait? Live. Man, right. is, uh, pushing? Yes, pushing. We probably caught 100, 100 each day. Yeah. That's that's Just a no lot size. of fish. So one thing's for certain, Kentucky Kentucky Lake's got some a a, lot of fish. A large, a years, lot of quantity fish great. in it. Yep. Uh, anything you'd like to add there? No. Nope. No, I'm good. Anybody you'd like to thank? Y'all. Thank y'all. Oh, no way. Thank you. We appreciate thank Fish you. American Crabber Trail, guys. Appreciate it a bunch. You bet. I'm going to hand you fish there. There you go. You bet. All right. We got some fishermen coming in now. Looks like I got boat number 40 of Doug Munch and Scott Watson. Had seven fish yesterday. Got, and I had seven yesterday and seven today. 771. That's a lot of sevens there, isn't there? We got seven or over seven. Look it. You stepped right up today, though. 10.05, one of the better better strings of the day. That's going to put you right around. I think that's going to put you in second place, actually. Get these totals up here, I'll tell you. We dug a little bit of 17.76, that does put you in second place right now. Well, we, if we hadn't dug that hole yesterday, our big fish yesterday died. Uh, swallowed a crankbait. When you try to get that crankbait out of them gills and everything, it's a hit or miss if they're going to live. It died yesterday on us. It's about a pound 10, pound 12 fish. That have made a... It would have made a big difference Three quarters of a pound difference because we had to weigh in just a 11-inch fish. But, you know, that, that same, and I don't want to wish anything bad on anybody, but, you know, any top 10 guy can have that yeah. same day. Oh, yeah. You know, he can yeah. be pulling crankbaits and pull one, and you guys can just go from here to here. And you're poised in the spot to do that. So. Some days you're the bug and some days you're the windshield. He said some days you're the bug and some days you're the windshield. That's right. Anything you'd like to add? Uh, we just had a better day today. Fish were cooperating a little better until the rain, and it just kind of shut off. Did you guys ever get off the crankbaits and move to jigs? Never, Never did. did. Stayed on the crankbaits the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, we got we got a new sponsor, uh, Jinko Baits, and uh, it was amazing how much that bait they'd get down in that mouth. Very it good, unbelievable. 
All right, well, guys, it's a pleasure as always. Thanks for Fish American Cropper Show. Sorry about the wet hands there, but I think your heads are winning there. Two-day total, 1776. Put you in second place. We'll see if that's going to stick. 1926, Team McCord and McCord are still holding on to that first place spot. And here pretty soon, we're going to have the top 10 coming up here in just a little bit. We're going to find out who's going to walk away with that new Ranger bass, new Ranger crappie boat, RT-188C. I'm so used to saying bass boat, but that's they got a great fishing boat with the RT series. I'm looking forward to seeing who's going to take that one home. Coming up next, they had 519 yesterday, got a seven fish limit today. Boat number 14, Dan, Dan and Mueller and Garrett Steele. We also know him as Crappie Country. Guys, get on up here. Let's see what we got going on. He says not much. You know, you take all the excitement away before you even get up here. You're supposed to say, oh, Wes, look at this thing. Oh, see? Yeah, I struggled getting that bag up here a while ago. So. Well, you got to do that now. <laughs> I did. The country, part of, the country part of Crappy Country was a sad song this weekend. It was, sad, it was a sad. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, it's 904 your two-day total, 385 today. Now, I got to tell you a quick joke about country music. Do you know what happens if you play a country music song backwards? I don't actually. No, if you play country song music backwards, your dog don't die, your truck don't break down, your, <laughs> everybody comes home. That's so right. So play one backwards, that's what happens. Guys, a pleasure as always. Sorry about that. I, did I didn't hear, mean to pick on We did hear about the fiddler playing this afternoon. So Did you? Yeah, right. yeah. It was a sad song. It was a sad song <laughs> and the world's smallest fiddle. Yeah. Like no, that. we want to thank all of our sponsors, Yamaha and Bobby Garland and B&M and others for allowing us to come up here and do this in front of a crowd, in the rain even. So uh, the lightning crack that hit out there at the last bit just about told us we needed to get out of there. So, uh, but we really enjoy being at Kentucky Lake. We really enjoy the hospitality here. Thank everybody that was in the community in the area and all the hotels, Quality Inn, everybody else for helping us out. Here. Yeah, I've got And it. especially American Crappie Trail. Yeah, we appreciate that, Dan. You know what? I, 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 every time I come to Kentucky and anytime I come in, the hospitality is amazing. There's some friendly people down here. It's it a beautiful is. lake. I'm really thinking about getting some sawdust pie later. You know where that's at? No. We're going to talk about, about that later. I'm going to tell, tell you about that. I'm going to tell you about that later. Like this, we want to know all the yeah. secrets. That, there are a couple secrets out there. We're going to talk about that later, though. But, guys, you, we appreciate it so much. Good to see you again. Good I'm sure we're going to see you at Sardis Lake, I'm oh, sure. Yeah, all right. Garrett, good to see you. I'm glad your voice came back. Thank you. All right, guys. Dan Dana Mueller, Garrett Steele. Garrett Steele, right? Boy, I thought I said it wrong. Crappie Country. Those guys are good guys. All right, coming up next, boat number 13, Dwayne Craig and Kyle Levering. They had 622 yesterday. Got another seven today, I think. Get on up here to see what we got today. Looks like a pretty good seven, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little better there. Oh, that is a lot better. I think you got up there. Yeah, uh, we felt pretty good about it. Um, had a better day and, you know, was glad to be out there and make a little bit of a comeback. So 843 happy. today, 1465 two-day total. How would you guys catch them this weekend? Uh, we won pole fish, vertical uh, fish structure, crappie magnet, slab magnet, um, just uh, pounding, pounding beds, going fish as much as we could. So. And you know, you're the first guys out here that said they've used single pole today. You know, that's that says some 15 pounds, two rigs. You know, that's going up against guys using 16 baits or eight baits. You know, right. that's that's tough fishing. Yeah, it can be tough. Uh, it's just what we know how to do, I guess. So, or we think we know how to do anyhow. <laughs> so, I, I think uh, they say dance with who brought you. Yeah. You ever heard that one? <laughs> yeah, that's if, right. if single pulling does it, that's what you do, yeah, right? That's right. That's All right. right. Anybody you like to thank, sir? Just thank uh, Crappie Magnet. Jeff Smith owns uh, Crappie Magnet for uh, sponsoring us and uh, just for y'all for putting on such a good good uh, show. Oh, we appreciate that, guys. Dwayne, guys, appreciate your Fishing American Crappie Trail. Thank Thanks so much. much. You bet. All right, guys, they're starting to line up. Let's get to weighing some fish. We got boat number three, Jimmy Ayers and Mike Clinard had 791 yesterday. Got another seven fish limit today. You got some people clapping for you out there, too. Yeah. Got a nice seven there. They're happy. Had a better day today, didn't you? 858. That's going to put your two-day total up there about. I'm waiting on the math. Can't do that in my head. 1649. Anybody, anyone you'd like to thank, guys? I would. I'd like to thank uh, Cunningham Motors in Springfield. They're our main sponsor. And uh, all you guys for uh, taking the time to do this. You put on a great show. I got big fish. We want to weigh, Oh, too. he wants to weigh a big fish. Got the thank yous out of the way. And let's see if we can get one weighed here. Let's hold. Yeah. Now hold that one. Hey, why he's getting that one, hold that one up and let everybody see that fish. That's a Kentucky Lake good one right there. Let them guys out. Let me find my tear bag there. And 210, just a hair short, but a beautiful Kentucky Lake crappie. Ron says hold it up one more time for a picture. Why don't you grab that fish there? Look at that. There's some nice Kentucky Lake crappie right there. 
That's what we like to see, good healthy fish. All right, guys, we sure appreciate you fishing American Crappie right, Trail. Thank you. All righty, thank you now. All right, coming up next, we've got the team of boat number 49, John Schantz and Scott Hunt. Had $4.99 yesterday. Another seven fish limit today. Was well, a little bit better today, Scott? A little. A lot more fish. No size. You gotta get, you gotta get Shauncey to get do a better job with the net. I know. I know. Five seventy five for your two day, ten seventy four two day total, John. Yes, sir. Tough one on the water for us today. Again, the rain, wind, but it was a lot of fun out there. We'd like to thank uh, Bug Band, um, Crappie Holly, guys that help us out quite a bit. Trust me, you need that Bug Band down here and these mosquitoes, don't you? Check this out right there. Did you see that? Did you smell the geranium? I smell it. You know, and let's don't make a big ad of it, but I'll tell you what, Bug Band has, uh, it's, all, it's all geranium based. I think there's some mint oil, there's some rosemary in it. It's 100% deep free. And I know guys that work here, and I'm not pointing any names or mentioning anything, Jeremy, but uh, wouldn't put it on yesterday. And he's got these little red swells all over with the mosquitoes ate him like lunch. And then you don't, look at this, got nothing on me. So, yep, Bug Band did her. Works good. It does, guys. Good to see you again. We appreciate it. Yep. Thanks so much. Pleasure fishing. Yep. Two day total 1074. Thanks guys. We appreciate it. All right, coming up next, boat number 50, team of Sh Tony Shepard and Mike Shepard. They had 684 yesterday. They have another seven fish limit today. Seeing a lot of seven fish today. Better for you guys today? A little bit. Oh, sorry. Look at there. I was trying to get it to you. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to hear. You said a little bit better today, and it was. 826. That's going to get you right up in that 15 pound range. And I see that your sponsors on your shirts. You guys must have been pulling crankbaits today. No, sir. No, sir. All no, right. Sir. What we, did you guys do today? Uh, we fished Jinko, Paddle Tail, Frab, uh, then we fished Menace. There you go. And it worked for you. Fishing stumps. Yep. All right on. Well, guys, we appreciate you fishing with us. Thanks so much. Anybody like to thank Mike? Just all of our sponsors, Triton Mercury, Daiwa, and Engel Coolers. And Everybody that got it. you here. That's it. Mike, thanks for fishing American Crop Show. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. Got a little unload of water there, just dumped off the side. Get a little bit of water off of here real quick, and then we're going to bring up the next team, boat number four, Joey Clark and Jeremy Jones. They had a good day yesterday, had 860. Got another seven fish limit today. You got to watch that pole, it's going to get you, isn't it? Yeah. Better day for you today? No. No? No. 645 was a little bit shorter than yesterday, but yeah. get you in that 15 pound range like everybody else, run right there in the middle. So nothing to be ashamed of. How'd you guys catch them? Spider rig and pulling cranks. Spider rig and pulling cranks sounds like the story of the day. Anybody you'd like to thank? I uh, just everybody. My wife mainly to let me do this and just. Did you hear me before? Lord. Did you hear me before say you always thank your wife first? That's right. There's three rules. You thank your wife, the cook, and the Lord. You got That's it. Right. So guys, appreciate you fishing American Crappie Trail. Thanks so much. <laughs> got her. Thank you. Coming up next, we got a previous champion. I think with the Grenada Lake. Had 822 yesterday, boat number five, Ron Bilbrey and Thomas Hankins. Got another seven fish limit today. How was it today, guys? Oh, brutal. Brutal? Brutal. It was day. not Grenada Lake 38 degree brutal, though, was it? Uh, no, it wasn't, but it was uh, just as wet. Yep, 575, 1397 for two-day total. Yeah, pretty disappointing today. Big fish, we just couldn't get them to bite. I can't even say we lost a big fish today. Yesterday, we lost five big fish at would have really helped us out uh went back after them today they just didn't want to bite for us today so we had to hold our rods most of the day just because of the wind and the waves so we got some sore shoulders <laughs> oh I'll bet hot after this rain so it's the big long shower and uh, a big old sleep and you'll be in good shape we thought we was going to get lucky there for a while the rain kept dodging us uh but then uh the camera crew come up and they brought the rain with them. It's that electromagnetic <laughs> pulse. They're carrying it yeah, with you and I'm just carrying the you. storm right over with them. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, you do know that you are up there in the points race, too. So even yeah. all, all these pounds, even if you have a, a tough day on one lake, you guys are right up there in the hunt for, for the Angler of the Year championship. Yeah, this might be our, our write-off. <laughs> well, we're going to find out, guys. Good to see you again. We appreciate you, Fish American Crappie Trail. There you go, guys. Thanks so much. Past champions, Grenada Lake. Never know what's in store from them, and they'll be back. All right, coming up next, we've got a solo. He had a partner, but he just wouldn't come down today, so got to fish it by himself. Had seven, I don't think he had seven yesterday. He had five, didn't you? Did you have five? You had seven yesterday and seven today. Better day, 629. Eric Weathup. Not good today. Small no, fish. We're not even going to talk about it, though, because you had to do it by <laughs> yourself in the rain and the wind and the rigging. So it, it was rough. Day two of tournament spider rigging was better for you? No. No? Uh, probably just as many fish, a lot more small fish. 
You're going to hang out tonight and watch all the way, and you're going to hook it right on back to Missouri. Uh, I'm going to hope for that Lucas Oil uh, $500. There you go. There is, <laughs> there is some contingency money out there. Stick yeah. around. It was a pleasure seeing you again. I'll see you back in Missouri. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let me get your fish here for you. And he said it, folks. Don't forget, all the anglers and folks that are watching online, if you're an angler and you spent $50 in Lucas products, you're eligible for two $500 drawings at the close of the tournament. So stick around. If you have a certificate and you haven't, go see Angie. We'll get you signed up, get you a ticket, and we'll be eligible for the drawing. Coming up next, they had 685 yesterday. Got boat number one, Steve Abernathy and Larry Hill. Got a seven fish limit today. How was it for you guys? It was awful. No smiles? Nope. All right. Just get, just get you on and get you off? It was better than I thought today. Four, you know, there's a second one that said that. One said it yesterday, one said today. 487. Uh, as you wait for today, that's going to put you right at 1172, two-day total. Right. Anybody you guys like to thank? Uh, my wife, my family, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ for letting us do this stuff. So, in the American Crappie Trail. Very good. You want to add anything to that? Uh, and Muddy Water Baits. Very good. Guys, we appreciate you fishing American Crappie Trail. Thanks so much. Got her there? All right. All right. Coming up next. Gator Guard sponsored team, boat number eight, Bill Braswell and Frank Campbell. They had 672 yesterday. They also have a seven fish limit today. And you're just hopping and skipping right on up here, boy. We so did it. You said we did it. And it feels pretty good today. Well, we're, we're, we're real close to where we were yesterday, I'm sure. I want to see how close we are. 596, just a hair shy on that. But 1268 for your two-day total. Obviously, you're going to thank Gator Guards. Anybody else you guys like? Gator thank? Guards, American Angler, uh, those are our two uh, key sponsors. Uh, as far as Gator Guards, uh, let me take a minute to say that uh, any American uh, Crappie Trail Angler, 20% discount on any Gator Guard product that we have. And we, we do have some product there with you go. us. So 20% off anybody needs anything. And if you guys don't know what it's about. Come see me or Frank. We'll, come we'll see Bill and you can take a look at the products. Guys, good to see you again. Thanks so much. Thanks, Fish American Crappie Trail. You bet. All right, coming up next, they had 779 yesterday. They've got another seven fish today. Boat number 60 of Brad Woody and Duke Montgomery. How you guys doing? I'm glad I'm short because that polar is going to get somebody, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Got her there? 554 today on your 779 yesterday, so that's going to put you at 1333 for your two-day total. Well, we was wondering if we had five pounds, so I guess we did. You did. You had five and a half. How about yeah. that? Anybody you guys like to thank real quick? Yeah, I'd like to thank my wife. Yesterday was our 28th uh, wedding You got to put that real close. She's not, she's not going to hear you. No, I don't thank my wife because yesterday was our 28th uh, wedding anniversary, and she didn't give me no slack for coming. Yep, see it. Very good. Happy anniversary. I'd sing it for you, but you know, if they want to weigh fish. They don't want to hear my singing. That's so. right. And did you guys focus on spider rigging today, or did you pull crank baits? What'd you What'd you do? We We did all. Did of both. We started out pulling cranks, and it didn't work out for us. So we went to spider rigging, and that didn't work out for us. So <laughs> <laughs> here we are. Here you are. <laughs> on to the next one, right? That's right. Well, happy anniversary. Anything you'd like to add, sir? I, I bet we caught a hundred fish today. Oh, yeah. I I, mean, I've been hearing that. Fingers are sore from taking fish off. Look at, we um, just couldn't get any good fish. I get pruned from just handling your guys' fish. Yeah. I'm jealous. Yeah. Guys, we appreciate you fishing Crappie Trail. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, coming up next, they had a good wait yesterday, 834. Boat number 30, at Richard Hughes and George Hughes. Got another seven fish limit today. Where'd your partner go? Uh, he, he, he wore out. He wore out. Yeah, better probably, seven today? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought I poked you in the face there. 681. Uh, that's better than what I thought. <laughs> yeah, everybody's saying that. Well, they just, did they look small out there in the water yeah, today? Yeah, I mean, we caught 100 fish, and it was just, it was terrible. Yep. I couldn't catch a big one to save my life. Anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, everybody. Everybody. There you go. That's all good. <laughs> we sure appreciate you fishing with us. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Team of Hughes and Hughes. All right, folks, we're getting closer. That top 10 is going to be sneaking up here pretty soon. But right now, let's move over to boat number 51. They had 661 yesterday. Got a seven fish limit today. Doug Sikora and Michael Bledsoe. Bobby Garland, crappie baits right there on the center of your chest. How's it going? It's going good. Tough bite again today, but uh, we did better than we did yesterday, you which did? is a positive. Absolutely, 747. That's going to put you at 1408 for your two-day total. We have one fish in there. We don't. We didn't even put it on the scales. We wouldn't mind throwing it on there. Yeah, absolutely. Let's weigh a big one and see what we got here. Always like looking at these big, healthy Kentucky Lake fish. Doug, did you catch it? Uh, it was a team effort. You one netted, one caught. Hang on just a second here. Let me get that basket in there. 
Almost a two pound, 193. Got her close, but how'd you catch it? Uh, that one right there, we called on um, actually spider rig on the Bobby Garland uh, bait. It was actually a what was that? Slab, slayer, slab slayer, yeah. All right, uh, slab slayer. What color? Uh, gold finger. Gold, gold. That new color. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That gold flaky chartreuse yeah. color. It worked yep. for us. Good. You know that's. Yeah, you must be studying. I'm gonna tell you why I know that. Are you ready for this? We uh we have a tournament trail out in California, it's the Wild West Bass Trail, and one of the owners said you gotta pack some baits and come up here because the crop here on the bank, no joke. One and a half pound males lined up in the tula grass on clear lake. It's incredible. And Matt Morgan pulls out this gold member bait, and nobody had them. And before long, we were stealing in the bag. Yeah. And we were, yep, you know, he didn't charge that. Don't tell us that. Guys, a pleasure as Thank always. You. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Two day total 1408. Appreciate you fishing with American Crappie Trail. All right, coming up next, they had 676 yesterday. They are a mid state sponsored team. Team boat number nine, Travis Bullock and Philip Haynes. Got another seven fish limit today. Don't got to run so fast. He's all excited. And look at this. We got a big string right here. 1146. That's going to put you up there right in that 17 pound range. Eight. That's actually 1822. Guys, that puts you in second place right now. We got to talk about this because you all were excited running up here. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. All right, so this is a big turnaround from yesterday. And it probably been because I oh, made. We weigh one. You want to weigh a big one too? All right. We can do that. You want to weigh it now or you want to talk? Let's weigh it. Let's weigh it. Get him and pull up here, Travis. What'd you give him for breakfast this morning? He's all fired up. Uh, he was fired up this morning. I don't know. He, I don't know what he did. All right, we're gonna get. Nope. Look, he said nope. 188 though, but still a healthy fish. Let's hold that up there, Philip. Let everybody take a look at that. Who caught him? Travis. Travis, what'd you catch him on? Metal rig. Metal rig, double or single? Uh, double. We we couldn't get him to bite a jig. We tried tried quite a bit, but uh, we just couldn't get him to eat a jig tip. So we we went to straight metal rigs and. Uh, uh, worked out for us. We uh, very good. We were a little more patient with the uh, steak beds this time, and uh, we dropped them right down in them. So. All righty. Now let's get these fish over the live tank. Don't take off just yet, Phil, because we're gonna have a little quick discussion here. Because that's the. Hold up. Steve wants to waste, or take pictures of those. Yep. Just hang on, hang on to those fish, and we're gonna take some more pictures. Um, heavy string yeah. of the heavy string of the day so far. Hey, Buzz, hang on to those for a minute. Let's talk adjustment here, Philip, because I. I'm a Missouri guy. You're a Missouri guy. I've, I've fished against you. I know you are a guy of adjustments. I know you are too, but we know we've been, we've fished together even once or twice where he's whooped us by adjustments. You're right. Yesterday was a struggle for you guys. What adjustments did you guys make to turn around and catch a string like that today? Actually, we fished the same place. We fished a little bit shallower, then moved deeper, and then we ran out of minnows at noon, had to go buy minnows, come back, and we just stopped and moved real, real slow. And they just bit today. So you just slowed down and it just worked in your favor? Yep. No big changes. Nope. No big moves. Had to, work the, uh, had to work the stake beds a lot more methodically and, and stick with one a lot longer. We had, just had to be patient. So Very good. Well, guys, 1822 for two-day total. Good comeback. Nice charge to the top. We'll see if it sticks. Thanks, guys. Travis Bullock, Philip Haynes. All right, coming up next, we have boat number 18, Cody England and Brent Williams. They had 842 yesterday. Got a seven fish limit today. Is it a good seven, though? Not as good as their seven. Uh, it always, it always kind of stinks falling after the guy that caught him good, didn't it? I know. It? I've tried to put some space in between us, but nobody wanted to come up. So. <laughs> 675 today, 1517 for your two-day total. How would you guys catch them this weekend? Uh, double minute rigs. Yep. The few we got, yeah. Very good. Anybody you guys like to thank real quick? No, sir. Everybody. Thank All right. Everybody. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thanks for fishing American Crop Trail, guys. There you go. Take care. Thank you. All right, they're still lining up to weigh. I'm kind of curious if the late bite maybe got a little bit better because fish are looking like they're getting a little bit bigger. But coming up next, I shouldn't say but coming up next, but coming, coming up next, he had 734 yesterday, got seven fish limit today, boat number 61, Chris Younger and Andy Gardner. No, that's how you Charlie Brown it, right? You know, that's when you pull the football out from underneath you. Seven fish today, how was it for you guys? It was tough. Got a lot of fish, just small ones. 636 today, 734 yesterday. Put your two-day total right there at about 1370. Anybody you'd like to thank? Oh. Uh, I put you on the spot, didn't I? Are you married? Yeah. You better thank your wife first. That's right. My Do wife. It. Yeah. What's her name? Crystal. Crystal, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> Andy for fishing with me. I there, appreciate that. There you go. Andy, anybody you'd like to thank? Uh Chris for letting me fish. There with you it. go, guys. <laughs> appreciate you fishing American Crappie Trail. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Yep, there's your weigh-in ticket. 
Thank Thanks, you. Andy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Got to pick on those guys. We're going to get them trained up just yet. You got to thank the wife. Tiffany, thank you for letting me come this weekend. I appreciate that. Coming up next, boat number 55, Michael Walters and Rick Solomon. They had 806 yesterday. They got another seven fish limit today. B&M sponsor team. A better seven today? No, I don't. Get on over here. Let's talk about it. Nope, I don't think so. You're a little shy. 660 is going to put you right about 1466, I think, for two-day total. Yeah, the, the fish, it was a struggle out there, that wind, fighting that wind all day. Mike did a heck of a job keep the boat under control. And, and I, I want to thank B&M, Southern Pro, Minn Kota, uh, Hummingbird for uh, sponsoring us, along with Ranger Boats, uh, along with my wife for putting up with me. <laughs> I started a trend. Mike, anything you'd like to add to that? Just thanks to my wife. There you go. Helping me out with my fishing. Very good. Guys, thanks for fishing American Crop Patrol. Good to see you guys again. We're going to see you in Sardis. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to see you there. Guys, take care. Appreciate it a bunch. All right, coming up next, team boat number 20, Scott Floyd. He had 679 yesterday. He's got seven fish today. Can I call you the late riser? Yes. The good seven today, right? No, not too good. It is for you. <laughs> 643 on your 679 and i didn't mean it that way what i, I meant by wish. was you and we talked about it before and there's a couple guys out there doing it by themselves it's not easy uh, it's, it's not but i don't do like i don't do the spider rigging and the dragon and all that stuff that these guys do i go out there and just fish with a pole in my hand and they um i've fished with these guys before and they work at it i they mean it is, they're like a machine yep. and i I do have to relax, so. <laughs> well, yeah, I guarantee out there in the rain today, you did not relax. But, Scott, so pleasure to see you. Thanks for fishing American Crappie Trail. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we have boat number 56, team of Kent Watson and Matt Outlaw. They had 742 yesterday. They got another seven fish today. Our B&M, Lucas Oil Marine sponsored team. Guys, better today? No, it was um, a, little bit, a little short. We lost the fish. It would have helped us. We've been about the same as yesterday. 679 today, 1421 two day total. Good two day total on tough conditions, a lot of rain. You want to talk about it real quick? Yeah, I mean, um, we caught some good fish down here pre fishing, and um, I don't know if it was the water dropping, what happened, but we couldn't get them to bite. We had some good fish in 30 plus feet of water. Um, we went in there late both days, caught some of them so we could keep them alive, but we had a good time. Caught plenty of fish, just no big ones. Gotcha. Matt, did you pick up anything to take with you to Sardis? Um, not really. Not from here. <laughs> not from here. <laughs> Guys, good to see you. Our B&M Lucas Oil Marine sponsor team. Kent Watson, Matt the Outlaw, appreciate you fishing with us. We're going to see you at Sardis. All right, we're going to stop the clip. Oh, okay. I almost thought the guys told me to take a break, but instead they said we're done weighing. The weigh-in line is closed, so everybody that's in line now, that's all that's left, so we're getting down to it. So let's bring up boat number 39, Shane Moore, John Eubanks. Had 826 yesterday, got a seven fish limit today. Was it a good seven today? Nah, not as good as yesterday. No charge to the top? Uh-uh. Nope. Nah. But a good sack, 750, that puts you at about 1576 for your two-day total. How'd you guys catch them? Um, was uh, jig and menace, uh, jig stick with menace, um, crappie nibbles, uh, roughly 12, 13 foot, probably our best depth. Got you. Now, we were looking for baits the other day, and you're, <laughs> we were, yeah. and you're looking for a special color, and then turned out the color didn't work. Bobby Garland Baits, what color was it to the, this weekend? Well, the it was the lights out was what was working so well, and it was working so well, we was using it on every pole. And it got to the point that it was mixing up, and we started using a little lighter, but I still caught several fish on the lights so out. So... Now, I know you guys are probably not hearing this online, but they started out with the Bobby Garland bait, and it was lights out, and that color is a black with a chartreuse laminate color. And then they moved to a Mid-South bait, a little bit yeah, lighter. Yeah, yeah, both yeah. are sponsor companies, both great baits, but you went from a stinger-style body to the yeah, skirted tail right, body and, right. and picked up the little bite. So yeah. a little advice to the guys that are watching, that bite gets a little tough. Just switch it up a little bit. That's right. You get a little yeah. more action. Yep. Yep. Guys, we appreciate you fishing okay. with us. Good information. Right. Thanks for fishing with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, and coming up next, we've got our Darbone champions, team of boat number 23, Josh Gowan and Alex Rude. Had 665 yesterday. They got another seven fish limit today. How you doing, Josh? Great. He's great. Seven? Yeah. 
A light seven, though, right? A light I'm seven. not picking on him. It's all right. It's, it's a well earned seven. 536 on your 665, 1201 for your two day total. It's Kentucky Lake, man. Whoops me every time. Now, why does it? I don't know. I don't know. I can't get a grasp on it. I mean, I have at, no at idea. Darbone, you guys went up in shallow water and you found them. There's plenty of shallow water here. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. I saw plenty of fish I, and just. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't have the answer. Maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> Anybody you'd like to thank real quick? Uh, B and M poles, uh, pre fish gear, uh, high tech rod holders, uh, the American Crappie Trail. You guys, uh, I'm leaving a lot of people out. Ellis That's Battery. Right. But uh, anyway, just thanks to all the sponsors uh, and everybody that supports this trail. And all the fans for coming out and watching it. Very good. Now you have a lot of words at uh, Darbone, Alex. You got anything, Dad? No. Nope, no. No. Not. not really. All right, guys. It's a pleasure to see you again. We'll see you at Sardis. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Josh Gallon, Alex Rude. Here you go. Thank you. Got it. <laughs> all right. We're getting down. It's about time. We're going to see who's going to walk away with an RT 188C valued over $25,000 Ranger boat and 100% payback. But before we do that, we're going to get down to weighing these fish. We're going to take a quick little break. Folks, stick around. We're going to be right back. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evinrude E-Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best-in-class torque of the Evinrude E-Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit Evinrude.com. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie, and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. bought her many years ago and she's been there for you every day since it's because you've taken care of her pampered her only the best will do that's why you choose lucas oil marine products to protect her every day she starts gets you there and gets you back even after all these years lucas oil marine products because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake we put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell of fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap. You bought her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her, only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine products. Because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie, and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy e Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy e Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. 
We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray haze. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie, and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field-tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. You bought her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine Products. Because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray haze. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell of fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. Guys, we're back here at the American Crappie Trail. Let's see if I turn my microphone back on. Let's try this again. There, it's back on. Folks, we are back live on the internet right here. It is the time for the top 10 right here at Kentucky Lake at the Paris Landing. The sun's popped out. It can't be more fitting. I can tell you for a million reasons why, but let's start with the biggest reason. 1926, the team of McCord and McCord. Guys, you probably didn't think you were going to be here, but here you are. We are. I'm shocked after yesterday's weight, but I'm proud to be here. 1926, a great string. You caught a big one, and you said you were just kind of the ride along and the substitute because your son had a house fire. Yes. He couldn't make it. They're getting their pieces put back together. You whack a big fish. You're doing your part. Yes. I guess it's time to find out if it's going to stick, right? That's right. All right, you guys ready to see top 10? All right. They're from Covington, Tennessee. They had 866 yesterday. They're going to need 1060 to take the McCords out. Let's give a big round of applause. Boat number 54, Paul and Elizabeth Turner. And here we go, guys. How you doing? So he's shaking his head already. Now, that's not a good sales pitch. Get over here. Come on over. Come on over. Come on over. A little short, 580. Two-day total is going to be right at 1446. Yeah. The rain hurt us. I mean, hotter it got, the bigger fish we caught. We was pulling crank and baits. Hotter the better. I think yesterday you said the rain actually helped you guys out, didn't it? Or not? Kind of not really. When but the sun comes out, the bigger fish bit. Any, so, any, anybody you'd like to thank this time? Um, yeah, I'd like to thank y'all for putting on the trail and uh, got a good trail. And we'll, be, we'll see you at Sardis. Get them over here in the camera. You can't stay out. We're on the internet right now. Anybody you'd like to thank? Um, the good Lord for the rain today. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Guys, great finish on your, on your two-day total. 11th place. Thanks so much. Give it up for the Turners, everybody. All right, guys. You made it past the first one. You know what that means now, right? You're a true top 10. That's great. 10th place guaranteed, everybody. All right. Let's move on. You guys ready to move on to the next one? All right. Weight got a little bit heavier. It's going to take 1031 to take you out of the seat. 
They are from Humboldt, Tennessee. They're boat number 52. Brent Smith and Elliot Dowdy are going to need 1031 to take the lead, and here they come. All right, guys. Get on over here. It's going to be close. 815, just a hair shot off. Two day total of 1710. Get on over here, guys. How was it for you out there? Rough. Rough. A lot of boat traffic, and of course, when the wind and rain came in today, we thought we were fixing to get blown off the water. Um, what'd you guys catch them on this weekend? Everything. Uh, Barry Garland was probably our best bait. All right. Great finish on your two day total. Your two day total was 1710. Anybody you guys like to thank? Um, Cannon Packaging. Uh, they sponsor us. Uh, they're a chemical company out of Humboldt, and they do cover crops for both deer and food plots, and I'd like to thank them. Very good. Anybody you'd like to add? No, just cannon packaging. We appreciate it. There you go. Guys, appreciate you coming down. Congratulations on your two-day total. Everybody, let's give it up from – you're from Gads and you're from Humboldt. Team of Smith and Dowdy. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, guys. You ever seen uh, the Jeffersons on TV? You know what that means? You know what we're going to say, right? Yeah. Say it. No. We're moving on up. <laughs> ah, right? He's going to add something. No, I, I do need to thank Jay and Jay Marina this morning because uh, I had some batteries that showed 50% charge this morning, and I called Jim, and he brought them to me. There you go. He's thinking. He's well, sitting here in the fine. chair thinking, I'm getting closer, so I better get all my thank yous out of the way. Yeah. All right, guys, you ready to move on? Now, these guys, uh, hey, guys, you ready to move on? Let's see what we got going on. All right, good. Okay, all right. They had 925 yesterday. They finished just a hair short off at the last tournament at Darbone. They've got they've got to be hungry and they've got something to prove here. Boat number six, Tim Blackley, Jackie Van Cleve, gonna need 1001 to take the lead. Guys, come on up here. Let's see. There you go, Jackie. All righty, guys. 1001 to get on it. Oh, Boy, just again. another one again. 962. Gonna put you right there at 1887 for your two-day total. Guys, a great finish on your two days here at Kentucky Lake. How'd you guys do it? We were uh, spider fishing, uh, about 10 foot of water, and uh, fish some Strike King jigs and fish some minnow rigs, being in minnow rigs. We pulled crankbaits earlier in the week, and uh, we caught a lot of fish. They were just small, and our grade of fish, spider fishing was better when we you know spider fishing with minnows and jigs now you guys are mm -hmm. right there at the top in the in the points chase there for the anglers of the year you guys have been a threat on every lake now you're just this far off i know it's been really driving you crazy jack so much you wouldn't even talk to me the other day you said i was responsible for <laughs> not shaking the stage good enough or something but you guys are right in there you guys are at the top of this chain and i know i i hate to even ask it but is there i know you guys are fishing as hard as you can you can do it right now you got anything in store for sardis no, I mean, we, we had a good tournament here. We fished clean. We really didn't lose anything that I know that would have hurt us. Uh, you know, it, it's just, you know, just like at the last tournament. That's just kind of the way everything played out. You know, we're staying in the top. That's what we want to do, uh, you know, chasing the points at the end of the year. You know, if it wasn't for our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to travel. You know, b and Poles, great pole, best pole company in the world, uh, Strike King Lure Company, Drift Master. Uh, Vicious line, you know, they, they make a great line. Uh, and we'd like to thank American Crappie Trail, Matt and Gary, for putting this on. You know, it's a great organization. It's going to be a great trail. Um, we just need everybody to help us grow it. There you go. Guys, 1887, two-day total. Pleasure as always. Jackie, congratulations. Tim, thanks so much. Tim, Tim Black with Jackie Van Cleve. You're all right. You can go off any way you want to. All right, we're not going to sing the Jeffersons this time, but what are we going to sing? We're going up, though, man. You're going on up, aren't you? You feeling pretty good? Yeah, well, let's, let's look at the, at the scale here. It's going to start tightening up. The next guy's going to need 998 to take you off the hot seat. He's probably got it. But we're going to find out, okay? They're going to need 998. They had 928 yesterday. They are boat number 48. They are from Horn... Is that right? Horn, Hornbreak, Indiana? Does that sound... Hornbead? Tennessee. Tennessee. What a great... <laughs> but it, rained, it rained so hard... That my smeared my ink. So from Tennessee, let's give it up for Bob Robinson and Jeff Riddle. Got a seven fish limit. Going to take 998 to get in the lead. You can look at my right at myself there. See what happened? Yeah, I know. All right, 998 to take it. 
just a hair shy. 741, that's going to put you on your two-day total. 1669, how was it for you this weekend? Uh, yesterday was pretty good, but today we just couldn't catch any good fish. We, we went probably 25 miles south and fished all the way back, and we just we couldn't get on any good fish, but uh, maybe next time. There you and, go. Uh, Y'all are doing a great deal with it, job with this. We love it. We're glad you're doing it, and I'd like to thank B&M Poles for uh, helping us out, and uh, y'all doing a great job. All right, now, got to bring you in here a second. Second top ten, two tournaments in a row. We'll, we'll see if we still stay in the top ten, you know. Well, you, 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 you finished top ten yesterday. You got a great weight today, but you're consistently staying there at the top. That's where we want to be. Got to be proud of that. Yes, sir. Guys, thanks so much, Fish American Crappie Trail. Congratulations on your two-day total. Bob Robinson, Jeff Riddle. What was that two-day total again there? 1669. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it a bunch. Guys, you know, we were off camera earlier. We were talking about, you know, sometimes you can sit there and ride it all the way through. And you know what? I think we're getting down to just a few more boats. We're getting closer. I'm so blessed to be here. You're happy you. now? Are you, are you feeling more happy now? Yes, very blessed. Thank you. That two-pounder <laughs> really came in when it needed to, didn't yes, it? Yes, if we'd had the two yesterday that died on us, we would have be a little bit better shaped than today well let's not talk about that now <laughs> it's all in the past and it's time to move forward it's time to move on to the next one guys you guys ready yeah. all right they had 965 yesterday they're from of Oz, missouri did i get that one right i did i got the thumbs up next door they're going to take 961 to get the lead folks let's get up for matt gregory and adam love 961 it's going to take take the lead you got him nope we're a little shy he says he's a little shy. I'm always optimistic. You never know. And you're right. That one hit like quick. 736 on your 965. That's your two-day total of, we'll get there, 1701. Great two-day total. Yeah. Not quite enough to get you in the front, but how would you guys do it this weekend? Uh, just covered a lot of ground. Um, just trying to keep hooks in the water, pulling crankbaits. Um, caught a lot of good fish yesterday, and today was just a lot more fish, just not as good a fish. So a lot of fun, though. Anybody you guys like to thank? Uh, no, thanks uh, to Marion Crabber Trail. It's a lot of fun. Had a great time. Uh, good couple days. We appreciate that. Anything you'd like to add? Tough day Just today. dejected, <laughs> man. That's like, this. just let me go. I'm just glad to be here. So he's bad. It's 17-1, to two-day total. Matt Gregg, Adam Love, appreciate it so much. Congratulations on two-day total. Great finish. We've got five left. Are you ready? They're ready. I'm not even going to talk to them anymore. We're going to move on forward. You guys ready? All right. They had 10.06 on day one. They're going to need 9.20 to take the lead. I believe Bruce Christian and Dan Hudgens are from Dexter, Missouri. We've got some Missouri boys here in the top 10 here at Kentucky Lake this week. Going to take 9.20. Boat number 12, Bruce Christian, Dan Hudgens. 920 take the lead you guys got it i don't think so feels pretty good though yeah we'll see look at that it's creep 815 just a hair short these weights are getting pretty tight two day total 1821 you moved right up there not quite enough to take the lead but how'd you guys catch them we were pulling crankbaits the uh, weather got us a little bit today we caught more fish today but we couldn't catch the big ones yesterday we didn't catch a lot of fish we caught good fish most of the day and i don't know the rain hurts us a little bit Yep. Anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, I, my wife for letting me come be be the first person. <laughs> and, you know, the good Lord for letting us be out here and do this. Very good. Guys, good congratulations time. on a two-day total of American Crappie Trail. Appreciate you fishing with us. All right, guys, the McCords are riding this one out. We're down to down to four. Got the, we got the top four coming now, and fourth was tied. Oh, I'm pretty nervous now. <laughs> it's time to get nervous. That's right. And there's a reason to be. They had 10.06 yesterday. They're going to need 9.20 to take the lead today. They are always, always a threat here at Kentucky Lake. They are from Tiptonville, Tennessee. Folks, let's give it up for Ronnie Caps and Steve Coleman. <laughs> I hear behind them. McCord says, I think they got some big fish here. You got it. It's going to take 9.20 to get uh. up there. They're going to do it right here. Got some new leaders, folks. 1146. That's going to put you over 20 pounds. 21. Look at that. 2152. Two-day total, guys. Great. Bang. 
Good deal. Yeah, we knew we had a great day, you know. Um, what's What else to say? I mean, you know, we caught enough to weigh in earlier. We quit an hour early. Uh, it was just a spot we had prepared ourselves for. You know, we, we've been pre-fishing for about six weeks down here. You know, uh, Steve worked his tail off. Uh, my wife's been down here with me. Uh, we finally got our game together. I mean, we have had some setbacks, and I'll have to say it in front of here and everybody. I mean, Steve's had some really hardships uh, come to his way, man. And I tell you what, he is a true fighter, winner, whatever you want to call him. We've adjusted so much. It's been unbelievable. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what, yesterday you guys yeah. said you fished your bad water first. Yeah, we did. I knew that was going to happen yesterday. We uh, we just really uh, got lucky, honestly, to be in the top 10 yesterday. But uh, we got that day behind us. I knew we were on some fish here. I didn't know that there were enough for two days, but it would have been, honestly. I just didn't want to didn't want to mess them up for the first, for one one solid day anyway. Um, but back to Steve. I mean, you know, he's, he's fished by himself, one eye and one arm, man. I mean, hey, that's a that's drive himself up here before daylight. Uh, unbelievable. So, um, but we got the, we got a game together today and had a big time and glad it turned out like it did. Hey. Yeah, and for <laughs> yeah. sure, I, I, I could talk all day, but I can't say enough about the sponsors, uh, the new Super, Super Clean. Uh, gosh, they put us on the road. They put us in right here with y'all every time. Uh, it sure does help, uh, for sure. Our ho our hotel bills and our travel time it adds up, man. I'm telling you. So very good. Steve. Anyway, anything you'd like to add? Uh, just being in pose. I, I mean. It's, are the perfect poles, you know, and the, the mineral rigs we use and the super clean, that's just like he said, you know, we're here all week and, you know, they take care of everything we've got. So, you know, that's that's a wonderful thing. Uh, and fishing yesterday from 30 foot of water today to seven foot of water, you know, we completely changed. That's so. that's the adjustment. That's what put you in the front because not only is the first one to break the 20 pound, you broke the 21 pound string. So 2152, folks, stay right here. We're going to have to say goodbye to the McCords, guys. Absolute congratulations. An amazing finish, folks. You did a great job there. Hope you're going to hold some fish there. Hey, y'all be fine, y'all. Good day. Good day. Hey, guys, give it up for the McCords. Great finish. Got our new leaders right here. Steve Cap, Steve Coleman, Ronnie Caps, 2152. Let me get out your way here. I'm going to go clear off stage. All right. As we say, the landscape has changed. Guys, take a spot in the hot seat. Let's have, yeah, take a rest. You deserve it right now. Big, long day. Big adjustment. We're down to three guys left. And it looks like the next team's coming up. It's going to take 11.44 to take you guys off. We're down to the top three guys. These guys tied with you yesterday. Is that correct? 10.08? So let's see what we got here. Boat number 21. Let's give it for Ed Folks and Jason Roberts. They're going to need 11.44 to take Mr. Caps, Mr. Coleman off. You guys got it today? We don't have it. He says they don't have it, but you know, I'm optimistic. Let's just see what we got here. I hope you're right. And you're right. Just going to fall just a hair short. 8.03, going to put you at about 18.11. Guys, how was it this weekend? Uh, it was a good tournament. We're glad to be here. Appreciate the trail. We had a good day yesterday. Caught a lot of fish today. Just couldn't get the big bite. Awesome two-day total for you guys. You guys turned it in 18.11. Great two-day total. Anybody you'd like to thank? Oh, you want to go ahead, Ed? No? I'd like to thank, thank all our sponsors, um, Ranger, Yamaha, um, Mr. Crappie, um, and thank you all for putting on the trail. It's been a great day. Hey, we appreciate it. Guys, congratulations on a two-day total. Let's give it up, everybody. Appreciate it so much. Well, you're almost over the rough spot. Only two to go. What do you think, Chief? Uh, looking pretty good. <laughs> Feeling some, good? Got some super fishermen that just come across this stage, I can tell you that. I mean, I'm, uh, every one of them got the potential to win any time they put a hook in the water. Well, you know, this gap gets bigger and bigger. It's going to take 1064 for the next one. They are from Martin, Tennessee. They're going to need, like I said before, 1064. They had 1088 yesterday. They got a good seven fish limit. Let's give it up for boat number 15, Mark Williams and Trent Jones. <laughs> and we got us a good string today, don't we? Yeah, Mark. 
I tell you what, you never know. Let's hang on here. Oh, let me knock off scale here. 1064, going to be just a hair shy. <laughs> going to bump up there. They're happy fish, though, aren't they? Yeah, more like it. 793 is going to put you about in the 1881 for your two-day total. Guys, a great two-day total for you here at Kentucky Lake. How did you guys catch them this weekend? Man, we had some fish located uh, in five to six foot of water. And it was iffy if they were going to stay there with this water falling. But they've been there the last three days. Last night got them. That water fell pretty good. Current. And uh, they pulled out on us. We looked everywhere for them, you know. And we looked probably four hours because that's about the best fish we'd found. You know, we had one more spot. Uh, we fished it. Got a couple we called off of it. But we couldn't get a big bite there either. Couldn't and get a big bite all day. Anybody you guys like to thank? Oh, all my sponsors, Strike Him, Mr. Crappie, uh, TH Marine, Cornfield Crappie Gear. Yeah, that's yours ringing. That's okay. Lose. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of great sponsors. I'd make a lot possible that we couldn't do otherwise. And, you know, i got to say, every morning, I'm a pretty tired guy in the morning. You guys always have a smile on your face, friendly to hang around, great business hey. with you guys. Congratulations hey, you on him, you'll have a good time. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations yeah. on a two-day total, 1881. Mark Williams, Trent Jones. Guys, thanks for fishing American Crappie Show. We appreciate it. Thank you. Everybody. You know, you don't sit in that seat that long. You might as well come on up, guys. Get on over here. We'll just do this all together. Get on up here. Come on. We're down to the last one. All right. They are from Dyersburg, Tennessee. This is the Tennessee knockout right here, isn't it? They're going to need 1029. They had 1123 yesterday. They were the leaders throughout the day. They're going to, like I said, 1029. Let's give it our boat number 31, Tony Hughes, Bart Gillen. This is all. Right here for Ranger RT 188C, guys. It's going to take 1029 to put it on the scale. Let's see here. We're going to have us a Kentucky Lake champion right here. And 863, a little bit short. <laughs> Ronnie Cap, Steve Coleman. You're our first place. <laughs> you are Kentucky Lake American Crappie Trail champions. Oh, God. <laughs> Hang tight, guys. All right, guys. You let it out. It was a great two-day total. Did you have anything left or just not work your way this weekend? No, we, we, we fished the same uh, depth of water. Uh, if the, We knew the water levels was dropping, so we stayed at the same depth. We was 10 to 12 foot deep, and we didn't think it hurt our fish. Um, just the bite just slowed down today. We, we didn't catch the total number of fish that we caught yesterday and uh therefore we didn't come across enough big bites today gotcha guys i know you got some sponsors you'd like to thank rod safe it's a rod transportation rack and uh wally marshall by strike king we trolled eighth ounce jig heads with uh um wally marshall by strike king jokers and it paid off it was a good tournament for us well guys let me find you here 1986 still good enough to hold you in the second place finish You've seen the payouts out there. Great, great second place finish. You're going to walk away with a lot of money this, this weekend. So we appreciate you fishing with us, guys. Thanks so much, Tony, Bart. Congratulations on second place finish. Taking my mic back. Thank you. You can have a ticket. Guys, get up. Bart Gillen. <clears throat> Lost my voice there. Guys, first place. What do you say? What's going through your mind right now? Huh? Awesome, son. I'm telling you, it's awesome. It's great when a plan comes together. There you go. Look at that big old hardware. You got the jewelry and all. You know what? You know, Mr. Heaton over there said you guys are going to be the late chargers coming in. He had his money on you guys from the beginning, but didn't know quite for sure because you guys were taking a big chance. You guys went from one end of the lake to the other, right? Yeah, you know, we're good on Kentucky Lake, but uh, it's been a while, you know. It's been a while since we won one, so it's sweet. Long yeah. while. Yeah. Long while. You guys always been at the top. There you go. He says ACT. <laughs> guys, anybody, you guys. Just thank you for the day on trail. I'm telling you, y'all, Matt and the whole crew put on a show. I'm talking about we are not used to this kind of crappie show. So we're almost full now. Uh, it's awesome where you're taking this thing to. I, I can't sleep sometimes. No, I, I really honestly think it really got myself and Steve pumped up for crappie fishing. It's been pretty boring the last few years, but this is what we've been waiting on. So, uh, hey, we're in. We'll uh, probably start fishing as soon as this is over and uh, for the next tournament down here. How about that? There you go, guys. <laughs> I'm excited, too. Ronnie Cap, Steve Coleman, your Kentucky Lake 2017 champions right there. Guys, that's what it's about. 
The winners of a Ranger RT 188C valued over $25,000. Two-day total, 2152. They're the only team to break the 20-pound barrier, guys. Congratulations. Stick around, folks. We're going to be right back after this message. You bought her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine Products. Because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell of fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy e Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy e Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie, and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field-tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy e Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy e Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell of fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap. You bought her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine Products. Because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie, and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field-tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy e Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy e Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy e Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. 
We put the Rock Bore Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rock Bore Rattler. The result, the Rock Bore Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rock Bore Rattler, great head. This patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor, Rock Bore Rattler. making fish hear it at much greater distances, just like a dinner bell or fish. If you don't have a Rock Bore Rattler, you ain't catching crackers. Hey, man, we got it going on here. I, these two guys right here, if there's anybody in the world who deserves it, it's them, Steve and Ronnie. I hunt with these guys. I live with these guys when I hunt with them. They're great people. Kelly, his wife, is so proud of both of them. They're great people. Uh, Matt, I think you've got something for them. I do. I've got a check here for Caps and Coleman, Kentucky Lake. A brand new Ranger RT 188C, fully rigged Evan Rude boat, 115 HO motor. Boys, it's worth $25,000. Hold it up, take some good pictures. Hold Ronnie, it up. Ronnie, $25,000, dude. <laughs> Steve, are you going to get rid of your old aluminum boat? Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Stevie, Steve, here we go. All right, Ronnie, I've fished tournaments for a, long, for a number of years as well. You know, did you ever think that you'd be fishing qualifiers and getting a check for $25,000 for a Ranger boat? Did you ever think it'd, be, it'd take place? This is exactly like comparing uh, a, a Classic to some of the, the, the wins we've had before. So really, we won the Classic today compared to the past. But... Um, it's this is this is what I've imagined. I've told you that a million times, and we've sat as teammates and fierce teammates before uh, at the same table and talk about this. So, man, you got it kicked off. It's a wonderful thing when you can win twenty-five thousand dollars crappie fishing. Uh, and we didn't have a huge turnout here. I can imagine what the classic's going to be like and uh, what next year's going to be like. So we're excited. We're really excited. Well, I know that um, over the years, I've always wanted to see bigger and better. And, you know, Gary Dobbins was there the other night, and Gary made, made mention he's the all-time winningest bass angler on the West Coast. And Gary said, you know, hey, we need the support from you guys because at the end of the day, 100% of the money goes back to the anglers. You know, when I started this with Gary, I had just one thought. You know, I know we'll never amass the popularity of bass fishing. There's no question. But Stevie, isn't this a step in the right direction? It, Steve. It, yeah, it is, it is. Uh, you know, at first I thought, man, the cameraman in the boat, he's going to be in my way. It ain't so bad. I kind of like it, you know. <laughs> you know, I, me and you have talked about both of us grew up as commercial fishermen on the river and running those jump boxes. This is a little bit better than running those jump boxes. Oh, it's, it's totally better. Now, all that commercial fishing, jump boxes, and diving. Uh, we got nine lives. <laughs> nine lives. You know, I want to say one thing real quick, too, and we're going to close it up. The first two tournaments we had, we didn't have, I would call, a favorite win them. Everybody that fishes this trail is a good fisherman, and anybody that crappie fishes has a chance no matter what body of water. It just takes the right brush top, takes the right stake bed, takes the right ditch to put seven good fish in the boat two days in a row. Anyone can do it. And I've had uh, a very point-blank conversation with you guys that you guys are icons of crappie fishing. But I've also said it's not the best thing in the world for a Ronnie Caps and a Steve Coleman to win, haven't I? Oh, right. for sure. You know, I, I, uh, I, I just love to win. But, hey, I've, I've been on the other side, too. I know what it feels on both, both sides. We both do. And uh, you, need to, you need to lose a few to make the win sweet. So it is, it is for sure winning one of the first ones on the – initial year for you man i'm proud to be uh, right up front one time anyway so uh, it, it really done a lot for us mentally it, it really did i mean we needed we needed a win we, we've worked i can't tell you uh how much how much time we put in for this it, it's been unbelievable and it's just like playing football man you you practice for game day and it'll turn out all right just don't worry about it so that's kind of what happened here and uh, i thought if we can win one we're gonna do it this time so th really that's that was the deal it was finding the fish that nobody else was fishing on and it was such a tiny spot we were in 
Uh, you could fish uh, for two miles around these fish and not catch a bite. Uh, it was just, I, did, I, I just got my hours in is all I can tell you. We fished daylight to dark forever. I mean, for six weeks I've been messing with it before this cutoff. You know, I was, I was skeptical if they were still going to hang there, and they were. Nobody found them. And, uh, boy, they'll be on them after this. But, hey, I do like the fact that we have camera men that are in our boat with us. Uh, for many years, people have been skeptical about us weighing in fish that might not have been real. Uh, I'm telling you, right, he, he got every fish that we caught on, on film today. Um, the area we fished in, I'm sure it'll get fished hard now. <laughs> but, hey, you know what? Um, that'll just push us a little bit more, you know, to be a little more competitive next time. And uh, that's just the way it is. I mean, you, you, you just... You just keep going, man, and uh, it's, a, it's a constant struggle to keep keep yourself on your feet as you go. But it's a big game, man. It's a big game. It's just like football or anything else, any other sport. We enjoy crappie fishing, though, and we're proud to have, have you here, man. Well, I appreciate it. You know, the one thing that makes it good is, you know, we have a we have a we have an off limits period of 10 days. We have four days of official practice. We have a no information rule. We're trying to make this as fair for every angler all across the country, whether it's a local angler or somebody who's traveling from five, six states away. We're trying to make this as fair as we can. You agree? I don't know how you could get any more fair, honestly. We love the weigh-in system, uh, the way you take care of the fish, man. And, you know, um, there's no way. There's no way to do wrong in this deal. Really, it's not. Uh, we are we are picking picking fine. We don't even. If somebody says something about a crappie to us during the off limits period. We're running from them, and uh, that's how serious we are about you know our dedication to the rules. And I, I mean, we, we honestly take off and walk in a different direction. If somebody says crappie, mm -hmm. that that is the truth. Uh, that's how serious we're taking it, and hope everybody else does the same thing. And if they do, this can be the best game fishing game in the world, man. Honestly, Sam. Next month, we're at Sardis. Sardis, Mississippi. I can't wait. There's going to be some big fish caught. It's going to be I've fantastic. Got one thing to say. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present three icons in the crappie fishing business right here on this stage. I don't know if that's me, Sam, now. <laughs> two of them. Give these two another round of applause. <laughs> Guys, one month from now, American Crappie Trail on Facebook, AmericanCrappieTrail.com. One month from now, we're going to be at Sardis, Mississippi, in Batesville, Mississippi. It's going to be an awesome tournament. I promise you, you can catch them cranking, you can catch them trolling, power trolling, jigging. It'll be fantastic. I think it's going to be one of our best tournaments of the year. We'll see you in one month at Sardis Lake.